This podcast is brought to you by the Deluxe Edition Network. To find more great shows on our network, head over to the Dan.show. Mario here brought me up. He's been my, my mother my whole life. Hey. <laughs> All right, my father. My father. He's been my father, my uncle, my brother, everybody. Mario! Scabelli's flooding the site! We need your help. Scabelli? Strap your belt on, kid. We're going in. If we get it wrong one more time, he's gonna kill us. He's not gonna kill us. He's not that nice. Daisy, where are you? Daisy! Answer me, Daisy, where are you? Come on, let's go this way. No, no! No! Let's go this way! No, it's this way! That's the echo! How do you know? I've been listening to pipes all my life! Come on! Okay, this is crazy! Where are we? I don't know, maybe we got knocked unconscious for a hundred years and we woke up in Manhattan of the future. Maybe the Bronx is today. No wonder they tell you never to come up here. Mario, I got a feeling. I got a feeling we're not in Brooklyn no more. We ain't got no water! No, he is. I'm just apprenticing. Get in the car. But I didn't do Get nothing. In the car. Are you telling us that you can arrest the guy for being a plumber? Get out of here. We're brothers from another dimension. Think about my suit. Oh. Mm. Say, what's another word that rhymes with dimension? Yeah, attention, and I'm full of it, so shut up. Who, who's this, this Cooper clown? We gotta talk to that goofball now. I don't think you want to do that. Why? Why not? That Koopa clown? Yeah? Is one evil, egg-sucking son of a snake. Oil, <laughs> lethal, stupid. Huh? <laughs> Goomba! Yeah. Walk tall, be proud. Go, Goomba! I'll kill that plumber! Yoshi is a pet of the royal family. You may pet him. Just uh, don't move your hands around like a small wounded animal. You must be the great Koopa. In the name of King Koopa, we arrest, arrest you. you! Surrender immediately! What a way to go to Koopa's tower! Wanna wait for a bus? How are we gonna get in there? Luigi, Mario! Daisy! You gotta come with me, I need your help! What, what, what's wrong? You're never gonna believe this. What's going on, cinephiles? This is Barrel Age Flicks. I'm Lenny. Yeah, man. And this is... Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ron. Words are hard. We also have... This is Stu. And I'm a pretty fucking princess. Plus... Hey, this is Ragnar. And finally... Fuck fuck you, Chase! Chase. Yeah, fuck me. All right, hey, everybody. And Lenny. I'm not fucking here, folks. What? I'm I'm, I'm just waiting until everybody's ready. (laughs) All right, guys, get off your phones. You're getting a punishment (laughs) shot. Your governor. Ooh. Your governor. So we just compared her to fucking goddamn Bruce Jenner. Does anyone know why Bruce Jenner keeps talking about Michigan? Oh, my. <laughs> I can't <laughs> see it. Michigan's governor. <laughs> oh. That's great. All right. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Um, that sounded weird. Are we done with the bodily sounds now? I don't know. Okay, are we drawing to a close? What is up, guys? Welcome to BAF. What's going on? And thank you so much for playing that fucking song. It'll be stuck in my head for the next two, three, four fucking weeks. Oh, the Super Mario <laughs> theme? Holy shit, it <laughs> yeah, never no, stops. This, I love this theme that we're playing. It is. It's, it's awesome. I just can't get it out of my goddamn skull. Yeah. 
Well, we are doing the movie. We are doing the first time. video game adaption movie of Super Mario Brothers. And this was also the first video game adaption altogether for a movie. And uh, this was released in May 28th, 1993. And this was directed by Annabelle Jankel and Rocky Morton. Oh, God, there's a huge history in this film that I'm going to have to talk about and everything else. Mm-hmm. But other movies that they have done, they did a movie called DOA, which is a big flop. It had Dennis Quaid in it. They also are the creators of Max here the Headroom. Is it Headroom? Max Headspace. No, it's Headroom. Is it Headroom? Uh, I think it's Headroom. Yeah, Max Headroom show. The, yeah. The, yeah, no, you're right. Co- yeah. That's coming back, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I, I actually just saw that today, yeah. I, which was yeah. kind of interesting since we're talking about it. With him. Is it? Really? Yes. Did but are they the original guy? Is Rocky Morton directing it? That I don't know. That I have to check. Because I, they, uh, the blurb I saw is, you know... Um, Got what's his name? The actor. Uh, they got blacklisted yeah. in Hollywood after this no, movie. He's was like made. He's, he's returning, yeah. And as Max Headroom, I'm like, that's crazy. That's fucking weird. The only other movies they did: DOA, music videos, uh, Max Headroom, and that's it. After this movie, they got blacklisted to the point where nobody wanted to work with that's them again. A fucking shame. Wow. This was oh, a fun movie. Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll tell you. They, Fuck you. There's a. Lo- this was a garbage <laughs> goddamn film. <laughs> garbage or not. I had Did fun. Did you say you? This well, th- was this was this movie? was Chase's said, first no, time watching movie. this. I don't even think it was a fun oh. movie. Well, you got you guys have all seen this w- back when you were kids. I, I still have anger inside me. I remember seeing this with one of my best friends growing up, going to the fucking theater. Yeah, we were both fucking gamers and shit like that. Fucking excited, like yeah, fucking video games getting goddamn respect. Yeah, yeah, fucking goddamn. <laughs> Dennis Haskins, who framed Roger Rabbit? Fucking in this shit, hell yeah! All right, Wait, who who? Dennis, uh, Bob Dennis Hopkins. Bob Hoskins. Bob, 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 Bob Hoskins. I was trying to figure out who you yeah. were talking about. You yeah. said Dennis Hopper or Dennis Hoskins. That's what yeah. you said. I know. I, I, I went retarded for a second. Uh, but no, going to the fucking theater. Afterwards, we're coming out like, what the fuck did we just waste our goddamn money on? Yeah. This is bullshit. <laughs> a lot of people a lot of people actually agree with you on that, but uh, this movie if is... If you go into it thinking... You're, if you go into it thinking you're going to see a movie about, you know, N64 Mario, yeah. I'm going into it thinking they're going to be telling the story of fucking Mario that they fucking didn't. Well, this movie was actually supposed to be a prequel to the Super Mario game. Yeah. This is actually a prequel because the, the director the said that... The prequel it was in the original stuff like that. I can understand yeah. that. Yeah. But everything But there else was no Bowser. Wrong. There was no Peach. They had Koopa and like that, but they, they the Goombas... What the fuck did they do to the goddamn Goombas? Oh yeah, we got we got history oh my about that. God. <laughs> well, the star the starring in this movie is we got Bob Hoskins, we got John Leguizamo, we got Good Dennis job. Hopper. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I, trust me, I practiced it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Hopper, Samantha Mantis, Fisher Stevens. Now you guys know who Fisher Stevens is, yes. Which is fucking weird because he played the Indian dude in Short Circuit. Yes. And he also... Remember the movie Hackers? The, okay, yes. I was going to bring this yeah. up. <laughs> All right. So, uh, the entire time I'm watching him, he seemed like the motherfucker from goddamn Hackers. Yeah. The entire... like, it, yeah. like the, the, the char- it was the same fucking character. Yep. He didn't change his personality at all. Yep. The same way I'm watching like Dennis Hopper, I'm like... This is motherfucking captain from goddamn Waterworld. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they well, did not bother fucking goddamn changing their character from one film to the other at all. Exactly. We also got Richard Edson. We got Fiona Shaw. Lance Herrickson does a small brief, like, four or five second uh, appearance as the uh, Mushroom King, basically. Mm-hmm. Or, Which was, that's roomy. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah, such yeah, a yeah, fucking loop. No, yeah. but there, there was another cameo that was actually going to be in this movie that you guys are going to fucking love. You're going to love the cameo that they originally tried to get, but it never worked out. But uh, other movies that came out in May 1993, we've got some good movies here that came out around this time. We had Cliffhanger. Yeah. Great. We had uh, Made in America, which I think was uh, yes. um, Whoopi Goldberg and uh, Ted Danson. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we had Hot Shots Part Deux. By Deux. <laughs> Fun <laughs> film. We had Dave. Oh, yeah, the president. Yep. yep. With uh, Kevin Klein. That was Klein. pretty good. That was pretty good. Much Ado About Anything, the uh, Shakespeare film from Kenneth Braugh. Uh, we had Much Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. Read, read the movie. one before that again. Kenneth Braugh. No, read the, the name of the title before that again. Much Ado About Anything. <laughs> Much Ado. Yeah. Much Ado. A, okay, A-D-O. It's, it's French. Ado. Ado. Much no. Ado About Anything. Whatever. Ado. It, and it's I was just, close. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be spelled A-D-E-A-U. But they do spell it ADO. No, they spell it ADO. That's why I said ado, ado, oh. whatever. Much, much ad- but yeah. it's always with much ado about nothing. Yeah. But you guys remember Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. Yep. Great, Great fucking, fucking film. Yeah. So it had a very uh, interesting cast for this movie. But in a way, I thought Bob Hoskins was pretty spot on. John Leguizamo, not too much. I, I 
Uh, I disagree. I think Bob Hoskins uh, the entire time I felt like he was I walking he was around set. fucking Roger Rabbit. Yeah, uh, I, I, in my mind, he didn't even know. Out. He didn't even know who fuck Mario was when he did this film. Who fuck Mario? No, he didn't know who the. Who, he didn't know who. He didn't know who Mario was. He didn't. He was filming the movie and he couldn't figure out who the character was. He just read the script. He didn't like it and he got rewrites. His son told him, "No, Dad, it's 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 the video game," and he was like. What the fuck am I doing? Like he, he was like, what the I hell? I really is felt it? like the entire time wow. he's walking around said he's like, I was the fucking goddamn who framed Roger Rabbit. What is <laughs> yeah. this goddamn bullshit? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and do our drink right now. Um, this is a very interesting drink that I picked. It is called BSB. It is uh, brown sugar bourbon. Now, the whole reason why I picked this drink is Sounds because delicious. there's two reasons. It could be either it really bad good. or really good. It smells I, pretty good. Now, I haven't even smelled it yet. I'm waiting. There's been a whole bunch of uh, um, things online about uh, in John Leguizamo's book. They said that during the shoot of this movie, because it was such a bad production and everything else, that in order to ease the pain, they were drinking on set constantly. They were drunk while they were filming this movie. Yeah. They were drinking. They said scotch in one thing. They said bourbon. They did said whiskey. So I decided to just pick any type of bourbon. And then when I saw the brown sugar, I was thinking, you know what? Super Mario World, there's like, I remember there was like a sugar land and stuff like that. So it kind of mixed up together. So I got sugar and bourbon. So that's how I kind of put this uh, drink together. So okay, we're trying it out. It says, our signature spirit, the world's best flavored whiskey the award-winning taste of bsb smooth sweet and balanced whether at a bar a house party or a couch watching the game bsb is sweet you wait easy like to love gummy i mean what the fuck are you doing what chase what the fuck are you doing don't fucking judge me i'm setting up a snack for later oh, <laughs> jesus christ God damn it. <laughs> piss off <laughs> so the flavor notes are super smooth class craft bourbon taste sweet brown sugar and cinnamon sipping suggestions are sweet and easy sipping near or over rocks smooth shots especially when chilled which we're doing that sipping way right close now by or over rocks or pour over rocks with a splash of lemonade apparently sipping lemonade close, close by or neat it just says smooth shots especially when chilled and sweet and easy sipping no. neat over rocks there we go what did i say you it said wrong? you said <laughs> suggestions Near or over rocks. Well, words are hard. I can't read yeah. for shit. That's, that's what I was like. But R's and T's are uh, difficult. Yeah, you know, K's and J's too. Yeah. Just so like the, on Rogue One. So this is nice and chill. So you guys ready to try this shit out? <laughs> yes, sir. No. All, right. All right, guys. Yes, you are. Yes, sir. Skull. And by the way, Chase, thank you for actually waiting to, you know, drink. You're yeah, well, well, I had to include you on the last one, okay? I kind of like it. (laughs) 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 So, uh, there's a mid taste. There's a mid taste. There's there's a taste, a mid taste, and an aftertaste. And the mid taste is a little. I don't like it. But the aftertaste, that that very molasses y. Yeah. That's what it is. That's 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 what what it is. Yeah. It's very I, I, the brown sugar is very strong. I think, I'm not I think mad you're about right it. About the mid taste, I do. Yeah. I, I enjoyed the, the top the top note and the the finish note. The, the that mid middle note. one is like <laughs> yeah, mid note is like very confusing. Yeah, all right. I can't say it's bad, but it makes it's your whole body go. The there is the no right taste of whiskey or bourbon in this no, whatsoever. No, it's, it's I, I do taste it. I, there, no. Barely, it's slightly barely. alcoholic the, molasses. I think the mid taste is is where I'm getting the bourbon. Well, it's very the, the it, mid note. Uh, the, uh, the one thing that we're right, it is smooth. It, it is. is. Very oh, smooth. It's gravy. It's very smooth. Yeah, it, it is silky smooth. It's not. There's no burn or anything like that at all. It's very. It's like <laughs> drinking fucking brown sugar, in my opinion. That's what it tastes like. It's like drinking brown sugar. God damn it. What, what, what film what was Silky that? Smooth? Oh, uh, uh, don't Chase. mess with the hand. Sorry. This? Oh, this what smooth. the fuck is that? It's cherries. You want a cherry? Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, remember, it's, popping it's them a all stone night. fruit. It's my fucking hobby. Oh. I pop cherries, sir. <laughs> Cherry popping daddies over here. <laughs> well, uh, Stu. It's always fun. Why don't you start with our review? <laughs> it is hard. I... I <laughs> Did you like it or did you not like it? <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out still. <laughs> See, I... Do you think it'd be good in a cocktail, though? Uh, what kind of fucking cocktail would this thing go Maybe in? Maybe something with bitters. Well, apparently it says it's good with lemonade. Okay, so I could actually that. Yeah, that. you know what? So you got the bitterness, is you know, from the lemons. I can, I can see that. I, I can say like the bitters, and then that that it, it, it rises. Up I tell on the you tail what, end with the molasses. Yeah. I could see this 
with some eggnog and cinnamon sugar. Ah, uh, that actually does like, sound pretty and good. Torched over it. Yeah. Like like torch the top of that. Yeah. That'd I love eggnog. Nice. Like a that rim would glass. Be nice. Yeah. Marshmallows on top. Oh, we're we're gonna have a bottle. I'll save it for Christmas. We'll yeah. try it on eggnog and see how it tastes. No, I'd give it a. I'd probably give it a one. That, that's, I'm very confused. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, it's not bad, but yeah. it's not like yeah, a, amazing. The top note it's, is good. The the bottom note, it's really fucking good. But that mid note is just so muddled. Do you find it very ultra sweet though? Because I don't. Not ultra. I see. Sweet, I no. feel like it's a like, little it's mild sweet. Yeah. Molassesy. Yeah. Sweet. It yeah. It is very mal- like a. a like a hair of bitter molasses. My yeah. my uh, Goomsman cakes, uh, burnt sugar. That's what it tastes like to me. It tastes like you're drinking that cake. That's yeah. the burnt yeah. sugar cake. So that's um. I, I, I like I'm pointing at you. Like I've, you know, I, I was a part of your Goomsman, but I wasn't. So I don't know. <laughs> what? What? Were you an afterthought? Yeah, you, you're saying Groomsman's cakes. Like you know, you had cakes for your Groomsman. There's a groom. <clears throat> I wasn't a part of the groom. The groom cake. cake. Sorry, I, I don't. I'm sorry. The groom cake. I, I don't. Know. Groom cake. What the fuck is a groom cake? It's a cake that's there. There's the wedding cake, and then there's a groom cake. I don't know. I don't even remember the fucking shit. Really? Weird. Did you have a groom cake? I couldn't afford shit like no, that. No, we eloped. Yeah. Okay. No, <laughs> like we didn't have shit. <laughs> have you ever heard of a groom cake? No. Yes. It's called a groom cake. Yes. I ain't never heard that shit. Yeah. Y'all You're fucking fuck. weird. No, we had two You're cakes. Fucking weird. You were some. You were at my fucking wedding. You know what it was. That's, I drank a lot. That is some fancy fucking That's true. white people shit. I drank shit. a lot. That is true. And then I went to a bar right afterwards. <laughs> that is classic. With your dude. gal sister-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, all right. You, Y'all are passing out. Fuck it. We're going to a bar and continuing this party on. <laughs> yeah, right. I, rem- I remember that. I remember that. So you give you give it a one. I give it a one. This is very confusing. Ragnar, how about you? Because you didn't like it all that much. Half of them. Oh damn. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm... But there is potential. Yeah, There's yeah. a lot of potential and I w- and some nice Christmas yes. cocktails. Would you be? Would you think it'd be good in a mixed drink? I mean, do you I, think it'd be good I, in I, eggnog? I, I I don't know. I don't know about eggnog. But I think like it's too it's very sweet. Um so I think like lemonade. I'm really like I said, so might splash really of lemonade. Might I'd be really fucking to give it work a with shot. it. Yeah. Uh, it, it. Because of the, the, the tartness of yeah, lemonade. Really yeah. You know, and to add that molasses and the sweetness to it, I think it would yeah. be yeah. it would elevate. All right, so what I'm going to give this, um, because I, I like bourbon taste and I like whiskey taste. I, I remember we tried the fir- our first show that we did was that peanut butter whiskey, and I fucking hated <laughs> <ate> it. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Yeah. No, it wasn't. That was so- no, I it wasn't. That shit about was, that, peanut that used to be whiskey. my punishment shot. Yes. I fucking hated God, it so much. Much. God, we've been doing this for way too fucking long. Hey, yeah, it's our like, when, when you think about us. it, when you think about how many shows we've done, sixty, uh, we've done like sixty two, sixty three, just regular BAFs, and then we've done the small batches. Those had drinks too, so we've oh. done over eighty or ninety drinks. God, so it's crazy. Damn I, but it. this, when am I going to be able to put be put on health insurance for this? All right, <laughs> I need workman's comp for my liver. Th- this is this is a call out to our listeners. If you guys want to buy some merch so we can afford uh, yes. to put uh, put Please. Stu on a transplant list, yep. <laughs> get me on some dialysis for my kidneys. <laughs> you know, we had a, we had one we of would our appreciate you all. Yeah, no, if you guys help us out. Like we we had one of our uh, fans uh, help us out a lot, and uh, Emmy really appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Emmy. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Uh, you basically bought this drink for us. Um, but basically, I, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give this a one. I'll give it a one. Yeah. Uh, because I think it has potential for a cocktail to be mixed in something, but for a straight shot, no. I I I, I can see this being trying this. Out. I, I want to see what it tastes like with lemonade. I don't think that would be a good. Uh, I don't think it'll be the bad. Bottle? I don't I, think it'll be bad. I want to try another one. You want to try another one? Yeah, I want to try another one. I'm curious to see if it's one of those ones that grow on you. Um, and now that we got Ron, I think it does. Yeah, let, now I, we got Ron's, I split let's go mine ahead. up in half. I yeah. split mine in half. Let's go ahead and get your uh, review, Chase. I'm going to give it one plus a 75% raised thumb. What? Wow. So one almost a two? quarter? Almost a two because it is good. It is smooth. It is probably really cheap. Yeah, what's the price point on this? Uh, this was uh, twenty bucks that, for a fifth. Nineteen ninety nine. That's it was a, it was cheap. It, I, it was like okay. low. Yeah, that fits price the, points uh, the right taste for me. Fits it. So you, you say it's, the root, you say the root beer whiskey was a whole lot better than this. The root beer whiskey. I don't know what it is. That, that, that's crack. All right. That, yeah, that, that, that is that's on a whole other level. That is like what fucking goddamn <laughs> tweaks, goddamn parents. That, they're putting straight meth in that or coffee. Yeah. That is goddamn delicious. I'm, I'm still it's trying smooth. to find more of that shit yeah. right now. Oh my god. Yeah. 
Um, but no, I I give this uh, a pretty high okay. rating because Ragnar, did you do what? it as a, a full shot? This, yeah, yeah. Ron, did you do it? Split as a full it in shot? half. Yes. Go ahead, and yeah, I, I think Chase is on to this. Do it more as a sipping uh, bourbon. All right, but then you're getting more overall molassesy. You know, it's yeah, almost like a, a dark bit. tincture brandy. So yeah. we're we're about to finish this bottle. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I like do it as a sipping yeah. one versus Hot a shit. shot. I, 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 my first Fuck. one was a shot. Well, well, like I said, no, it, that yeah. that's one of the things it says. It's either a yeah. cold chilled shot or sipping. So yeah, I think that they're right on point on that. All right, I really do because it's I'm doing. And this honestly, now. I, this it, drinks more it. like a liqueur. It does. It, it does. I mean, it's technically a bourbon. I don't no like no. I don't actually. That made it worse for me. Really, me, it makes it better. It does. The mid note isn't see as how strong. it's a fucking bourbon. I don't see how it's a bourbon. I don't see it's how it's technically just, a bourbon. It does, no, no, no. I, but I think it drinks more like no. I know, but like, I don't. I don't see how this is a fucking bourbon or a whiskey. Anything like that? From, I will say, as from a the way sipper, it's made, yeah. As a, as a but, sipper, it it does lose. Uh, at least when I did a shot, I was getting the mid notes of uh, a little bit of the bourbon. Um, but as a sipper, I'm losing all those mid notes of the bourbon, so yeah. I can see where you're saying it doesn't feel yeah. like a fucking bourbon. Um, it's except too for the, fucking sweet. It does have a little bit of warmth. It's to it. sweet. That's but what it's I not, mean. It drinks like a brandy liqueur. It's like half yeah. sweet because yeah, there's, there's, I, there's I yeah. Taste. I would say this is more of a. Uh, of a more um actually liqueur what do you think of this being warm no i I think it's better chilled yeah you'll want it chilled but i think that brings out the molasses that's that's also why i was saying if you want to mix this with like an eggnog and specifically torch the top of it when you add some like cinnamon like a cream uh what was a cream um what's the one with your torch creme brulee yeah yeah Yeah, a creme brulee torch that way you get that cream feel. That's cream what brulee? Was, what the fuck? I was about to say I didn't say that. Did you, I? you were going to go cream, I was, cream, uh, cream. I didn't want to say it because yeah. I know I was going to say it so wrong. So then I'm assuming if you're saying creme brulee, <laughs> yeah. you would say cream brulee. Yeah. Yeah, but so you get that that smoky top off, which yeah. I think would really affect this flavor quite I nicely. can see that. Yeah, this is more uh, a dessert drink. Oh, yeah. yeah no, it definitely is. This, yeah. is. this is after Christmas dinner, yeah. and, and you and got fruitcake in front of you. Yeah. N- and not, nothing too fucking, you know, it's exactly. not too fucking sweet, but it's a nice top. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to say it's not, not, not too work? sweet. A lot of people will probably well, think this is I don't know, because molasses to me isn't too sweet. I don't think so either, smoke. but it's I like really sweet. I like sweet. But it's not overly sweet. Right. Hold on, Ragnar. natural sweetness. Ragnar's got a point about the smoke. Have you seen those smoke kits for liquor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Ooh. I I, so I just got one. Did you? I just How got is one. it? You got to tell me everything. I so I tried it with a uh, uh, fucking rum and coke. <laughs> I, it's it's rum and coke with the smoke. A weird yeah. fucking choice to do. It was good. <laughs> it was rum and coke are hey, good. Hey, I, I rum and you. coke is good no matter what. I got you. I got but, some Johnny Walker Black Label. If you want to try it out with that. Well, I've got. Uh, to me, that's kind of blasphemy. Yeah. You yeah. don't want to affect that? No, I know. No. Yeah, yeah. Especially you, you, with how much you pay for the bottle? You yeah. buy no. Johnny Walker Black to taste Johnny Walker Black. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're paying for, you're paying for <laughs> that no, fucking you don't do that. scotch. Whatever. Yeah. No, it's no, mine. No, I say you really can if you want. Cool. And it, it, like, like, it, it fucking tastes goddamn, delicious. Yeah, if Ragnar's, really? yeah, you know, it um, fucking great. bird's eye fucking chili whiskey with some fucking high dollar fucking shit so, that he fucking goddamn So you're smoking. No, I'd be mad. No, so that one there was a fucking, that bottle of Johnny Walker was a gift to me. So that's why I used it, bro. So, so I would be mad. Went, I didn't pay oh, yeah. for it. No, I used Johnny Walker Blue Label, and I put some fucking. Yeah. Like, what the oh. fuck, you? If I ever hear that, I am fighting your head. Right? I am smacking the shit out of you. No. Yeah, no. But, that, so the infuser is that a bubbler or is that a dome? No, it's a dome. It's a dome. So yeah, free? so okay. that's simple. So you, yeah. What what well, what, the, what are you using? I, I always thought that the bubblers uh, would this, infuse the, better. What I used was hickory chips. Oh yeah, in there. Yeah. Is that what it asked for, or do you you have you, to? You, you, you can I use can mesquite, whatever whatever hickory, really? whatever. Cherry yeah. wood, got, cherry uh, would be good. Oh peach. yes, I got peach, cherry, oh, hickory, oh, fucking good. Um, oh, yeah. And I think one or two others. Do you, in there? Do, do you have cherry wood? Yeah. 
All right, because I think cherry wood would be yeah, fucking. Give that you should try the cherry wood with the <laughs> yeah, rum and coke. I think it's got to be, be in a, money. It's got to be in a good fucking either bourbon or whiskey for it. <clears throat> yeah. Try the cherry with so. the cherry with the uh, rum and coke, and that might give it like a. Well, t- I didn't. Well, I was already yeah. drinking rum and coke at the time. Yeah. Oh, so you were just looking at the test like, eh, so like, yeah, whatever. Try this okay. out real quick. Okay. okay. So that's why I'm not yeah. wasting good fucking liquor. Yeah. 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 Jesus, no, like shit. Fuck no. All right. Hell no. I'm not wasting my good liquor. Because I've also seen just people taking like. They, it's just a proper glass dome, and they put the wood yeah, chips around it. Yeah, and they put it, it right yeah. over it. And they just, yeah, and yeah. extinguish yeah, them. Yeah, that works. I mean, that, that does works. Yeah, you can do it that way. This one, the one I bought was, it was like 40 or 50 bucks. Yeah. And it sit, you basically put the wood chips inside So that's a culinary dome. smoker. No. Smoke infuser. I'm not talking about like a grill smoker. I think it's, no, a, it's a, no, no, you're thinking of a, um, a, are you thinking of the machine? No, no, it's well, kind of. It's getting no, pumps I, I, to smoke I know, in. I know what you're talking about uh, as far as culinary. You know, yeah. it's, the very, it's the same, exact same concept, but a smaller dome. Yeah. Okay, got yeah. it. All right. this, this, um, uh, I'll show you exactly yeah. what it is. Uh, uh, so I just always thought if you're going to do that to your whiskey, you should probably have a have a like a small tube that goes into it and infuses it in bubbles. But it'd be harder to do because then it's immediately fucking escaping unless the tube just happens to be the exact perfect fucking size. Yeah. But and then if it's the exact perfect fucking size, then when the bubbles happen, where's it going? It's going. So what would you think? Hook it up but, to like an air stone, like Ragnar. Like do you think that this? Tank. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. yeah. Do you think this would work with That's this though? Like. Oh yeah, I could. Yeah. Do you think this would work with this with the BSB? I think so. Oh, we're the smokiness and what might be nice, but I would need a little. Bit. I, I, I really like what else. Chase's well, well, idea. You, you said you were, did your review change because yeah, from the sipping? No, I, no, now as a sipping whiskey uh, or sipping bourbon. I'm sorry. Um, no, I'm gonna go like one one and a quarter. It, it definitely elevated it. it I tell you what, elevated. mine I hasn't changed. What, Mine's the same. One. Dear whiskey aficionados, if you happen to be listening to us and our fuckery, let us know if we don't know what the fuck we're talking about and have any recommendations please for, do. for smoking yeah, our yeah. whiskey. And if any of y'all want to actually send us anything, please fucking do. Yeah, so that is always, oh, always oh, appreciated. <laughs> if you guys want to send us something I'm to do. I'm a little broke bitch, short we ass out. Bunch of broke <laughs> Reach out to us on Barrel Age Flicks on Instagram. Um, we'll hook you up with uh, any info you need. Yeah. Um, but please, you know, Talk to us, talk to us, talk to us. Yes. Uh, we thrive on listener Honestly, feedback. yeah. Interact yeah. We sometimes with do get bored talking to each other. Yeah, yeah we've yeah. got... Yeah, I don't fucking like any of these assholes that I'm fucking having to be dealing with now. <laughs> <laughs> well, so so keep in mind, people, we have Barrel Age Flicks podcast at, on Instagram. We also have Barrel Age Chase. We have... Barrel Age Stu. And... Not barrel age anything. Mine's is Voorhees, so you fucking suck, Ragnar. Uh, anyway, Ron, Ron, you asshole! Hit me in the nipple! Hit me in the fucking nipple! Ron is our our Instagram uh, webmaster. What the fuck was that? Yeah. Uh, so barrel age flicks on Instagram is yeah. If you want to talk to Ron, you can just reach out through there. Yeah, and I let you guys know what's Ragnar. going on. No, fuck I, y'all because Ragnar hasn't bothered to fucking goddamn. Are you even a have an Instagram? I dude, you. Fucking me on but wait, I've just now you figured right. out. I have two <laughs> posts. I've just now figured out how to post on Instagram. I am so happy. We are so oh my proud. God. <laughs> I think our fucking Instagram's got like over 400 posts right now. All we the are. shit you post, I was trying to like, how am I going to share this? And it's like, do you want to share to your no. stories? Uh, and I'm like, no, because they disappear in 24 hours. I would actually put a post. But fuck it. I'm you can lazy save your stories, try. my guy. And they just stack up. I don't yeah. know that. I don't know anything. I am fucking old. Fuck you. you. Okay. the old fucking yes. man. <laughs> Yes. All right, guys. Well, we will be right back. <laughs> All right, guys. We are back with our show. So this movie was made with a forty-two million budget. Holy shit! Where really? did it go? It only made twenty it, million. This did was it, did a it go huge to salary? Flop. No, I thought it was the other way around. No, it only it made only twenty million domestic, but it, it was made, a forty-two million budget. I thought it was. I thought that was the other way around from what I saw. No, no. This this I was a, it had huge a twenty-eight flop. mil uh, budget. Forty-two million. It was very supported, especially by Nintendo and everything else, because Nintendo was excited to see how the how would we would I got do with thirty-eight point nine million dollars. Yeah, box. that's what I saw. Yeah, thirty-eight point nine. Oh no, that's it made thirty-eight point nine box. Why is it that we off. never yeah. have no, proper budget information? No, you're right. You're right. 
Yeah, uh, it made only twenty million budget, domestic though. B- budget on Wikipedia is somewhere between forty two and forty eight mil. Yeah, and I said forty two mil. Yeah, it yeah. made thirty eight point nine like mil. Why yeah, is there always you said over here only twenty million domestic? Though. Because All right, there's so where so is me many <laughs> different ways to Miyamoto. look at the information? <laughs> it shows him in the cast. Though. Where is Miyamoto in this film? Huh? I'm looking at the cast right now. It's okay, like, uh, Miyamoto? Miyamoto. He was uh, he, no, he was in the ending sequence that they cut. Yeah. I think he's in a after credit sequence where they said hey, we would like to make a video game on your adventures. Well, I must say, we have a very exciting proposal. A video game based on your many adventures. What would you call it? Yeah, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a uh, deleted scene. Ap- uh, yeah, oh, you I don't remember that at all. No, I know, but he was in the, there, there, This movie was fucked up, man. I mean, seriously, the whole, the thing was like edited fucking horribly and everything else. The casting in this movie... Which is fucking I don't blame the editing on it. Fucking crazy. No, the editing's horrible. I know the editing. The fucking sucks, se- all right, you, but you, you, still. Like, there's one thing I gotta bring up. The the one sequence when uh Luigi and Mario get bashed on the head by the those two fucking dumb guys. Oh yeah. And uh, then you see uh, they grab Daisy, which by the way, Daisy was the only th- game that I remember Daisy in was the first Super Mario Brothers game on the Game Boy. I don't think it, it was on No 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 no. Um so she was the one that Mario was trying to save in um and uh, uh, the Kong, um, Kong, Kong. Uh, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong, yeah. Uh, she was also in the oh, first. Yeah, Super, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she was also in the first Super Mario no, game for Game was, Boy, uh, but maybe for uh, for Game Boy. But she was also in the Mario Brothers game, not Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, Mario Brothers. Yeah, uh, game. She was the princess, and then she appeared numerous times in the future. Um, you know, as uh, you know, Princess Daisy. Yeah. Um. Uh. So, yeah, but once Super Mario Brothers came out, it was Princess Peach that we're going after. Well, here, here's some funny casting here. Michael Keaton was approached to play Koopa, but he passed on the role, of course. Smart. Yeah. Tim Curry, Sean Connery, Sylvester Stallone. Who? I was considered really for the like, role of on, King Koopa. I would have liked to see Sean Tim Connery Curry. was asked to play King Koopa. Yes, I'm dead serious. But you're, 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 Stallone you're, was no. asked to play for King Koopa. Even Arnold Schwarzenegger. What the fuck? I'm dead fucking you know serious. What? You know I am what? I'm so could've... glad that like <laughs> no. these individuals declined this fucking offer. I, I could have seen yeah. Arnie and I could have seen Tim Curry. Well, here, here's some fun, no. here's some other funny fuck ones. Yeah. Danny DeVito was the original casting choice for Mario. Honestly, that makes sense. Yeah, hundred percent. Definitely typecasted, and I almost feel bad for him. But you know what? I wouldn't have felt. Ma- I wouldn't have been mad if they casted Danny DeVito as most of them, but then he ate like a fucking mushroom, and then he turned <laughs> bloop, into bloop, bloop. goddamn Bob Hoskins. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been beautiful. That, that, you know what? Oh my That's God. what I was pissed off about. One of the things I was yeah. pissed off about with the movie is that you have um, uh, fucking uh, Lance Hendrickson as a king, right? Yeah, for like five seconds. Yeah. But he's, you know, he's the fungus. He's the mushroom. Yeah, the really the nasty fungus, fungus ball that you know. drops. Mm-hmm. It was weird. Nobody <laughs> ate the fucking mushroom. Nope. Nobody ate the fucking mushrooms for power ups. No, th- that's that's, that's the whole thing about this movie. Life. See, this was this in movie, the nineties. You can't promote psychedelics. See, Rocky Morton, uh, actually but if the you're producers. you're basing it off a fucking video game. Well. This that is, is what you fucking do. But what Rocky Morton and the the producers and everything else were trying to get out of this movie after Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came out and also Batman 1989, they were trying to base off of this movie. They were trying to make a movie as dark as those because those did so well. So that's where they were trying to do with this because everybody thinks of Mario being all nice and cheery and colorful and everything else. And then they went, tried exactly. to go with darker yeah. tone. The underworld fucking, fucking dark. levels? The underworld levels were darker shit. Fuck that. Uh, yeah. I'm just, that's right. just what I'm reading. Yeah, I mean, I mean I, I've read so, I mean, I've listened to so many documentaries about this. But the other casting choices for Luigi were Matthew Broderick. And this is the funny one. Tom Hanks actually was going to do the role, but he asked for too much money. But then when they saw that Tom Hanks' two movies, Turner and Hooch and The Burbs, did, were flops, they thought that he wasn't a moneymaker, so they fired him. And they didn't get... Were they Tom flops? Hanks? Were they really flops? Okay, uh, the Burbs they, and they Turner really? Hooch were flops. Okay, they man, weren't dude, that Turner they didn't Hooch make it awesome. It is. Yeah, no, they, they are. It's a great movie. The but Burbs is great. They were flops. Yeah. All right, I yeah, can understand that. But it's but, a great, but they're both they're, great yeah, movies. No, though. wonderful. I love the Burbs. Yeah, I fucking love the shit out of the goddamn Burbs. Yes, that's but, one of Joe Dante's uh, best. Yeah, but. I can understand why theatrically it would. It, it, That's it understandable. Bombed. Turner right, Hoosh right. fucking made that was sad. That was man. a I, fucking. Great it's a good movie. movie. No, I, I I agree with you. I loved it. It was a good movie. I, I like Tom Hanks I and a lot of his comedic dogs roles. After it. The Money Pit. That was that one of movie. my favorite. Oh, Tom Hanks. The Money Pit was good. <laughs> yeah, mm. but yeah, it was Kevin Klein. 
Keanu Reeves, Christian Slater what? for Luigi. John Turturro. <laughs> Who? Oh, I could have seen fucking Slater. Yeah. For, uh, for Luigi? Yeah. I could fucking see fucking Slater for Luigi uh, back then. Maybe. I could have seen All Reeves right. for, for Luigi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could see Luigi back in the fucking early 90s. Wait, who? John Turturro. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. You know who he is yeah. from. Uh, he's in a lot of oh, uh, uh, Transformers. He was a crazy scientist. Oh, okay. All right. All he was right. the yeah, he I was uh, he was the Jesus from the Big Lebowski. Yeah, yeah. the okay. Jesus. All right. yeah. yeah, that's that's what he was. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Fucking don't fuck with the Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I fucking love the that Jesus movie. doesn't roll again. <laughs> <laughs> but um, see, Christians that would have been fucking lit. Now I could I, see. I don't it, know. Right? I, I Christian can't Slater? see Christian Slater. If he, if how he, how would you if, see Christian Slater? Would he his hair darker? I could fucking see that. I don't know. He would have been taller than fucking Bob Hoskins. Yeah. But All right. And Bob Hoskins, I thought was actually and pretty super, good. And pretty Bob, good casting. He Bob, looks no, like he, yeah, no, not well, the casting, actor, but he looks like yes. Mario. Casting, yes. Yeah. But he, he, he I just movie. tell he he was just phoning it in. The he hated time. it because he All hated right. it. He in fact, miserable. I have a great quote from yeah. him about this fucking movie, but. I have to tell you about the cameo that never happened. That was in 89. They were trying to make this an action film because this movie went through so many fucking so, rewrites, and there was a scene. Christian Slater wouldn't have worked. I think it. 93. I don't, 93. 99. Yeah. 93. I know. But when, I know did you, but, when did True Romance come out? But he was coming off of Gleaming the Cube, and that was in 89. So, I mean, so that's a four-year difference. Mm. Okay. You know, so, like, I don't, I, I can't see Christian Slater playing Luigi. I can't. See I can't my... see Christian Slater with a mustache. No. <laughs> well, no, because that's what Luigi. Because that's they. They kind of went this whole. This but movie is pure nineties. When you think about it. didn't have a fucking mustache. That's what I'm saying. It was. Pure, right. They made it like nineties. They made it like all really. Hip. Yeah, no, they had they, a backwards they, they, hat and everything. Yeah. Made them all hip and everything. That's basically what they tried to do, which I fucking hated. But I, I got. I got to bring up this cameo that they tried to get because they're trying to make an action film and try and base it off the Die Hard films. So they were going to have a cameo of Bruce Willis coming out of a. Of the uh, ventilation, just like in Die Hard. Oh, I would have loved that. Yeah. Really? Oh, I would have loved that. Dead serious, yeah. Honestly, that would have been pretty cool. I, I'd have oh. They were going to do that in Koopa's Tower. Like, he was going like, to see where he's coming out of there. Yeah. But oh, that would have made me so fucking happy. It never happened. And Bruce Willis would have never have done it. That so. would have made the movie so much better. But here's some quotes from uh, the actors in this movie. And this is from uh, Bob Hoskins. In a 2000 interview with The Guardian, Bob Hoskins described the film's production. It was a fucking nightmare. The whole experience <laughs> was a nightmare. It had a husband and wife team directing. Those arrogance has been mistaken for talent. After so many weeks of their own agent told them to get off the fucking set. Fucking nightmare. Fucking idiots. That was his quote. I can see Bob Hoskins in that. I can that. see that. And you yeah. can, with his Cockney accent, too, saying that. It's just fucking great. And it's always so weird to remember that Bob Hoskins has a fucking Cockney accent in real life. <laughs> no, no, so there's a funny weird. thing. No, there's a funny thing because John Liguizamo uh, wrote Good an job. autobiography, Good. and that's where he talked about the drinking, but he actually broke Bob Hoskins' finger. And throughout the movie, Bob Hoskins is wearing a cast painted pink. If you watch the movie and look at his hand, okay. you oh, can see the cast. You know, I give them credit because if I you hadn't told it. me, I wouldn't have noticed. But I what the funny thing is, is he, what, he told me that, and then I watched the fucking movie, uh, and I'm literally watching his fucking hands the entire, <laughs> like almost the entire fucking movie. Sorry, I got to rewatch see, like, the whole thing. I didn't not, even pay attention. Where he can't move his fucking hand, yeah, and shit, and it was fucking like I mean they did a really good job with the paint oh yeah, yeah well, what, what happened I, I didn't know this until you literally just said that yeah I didn't yeah, realize I, that it never fucking jumped out of me that a weird fucking hand thing is going on with Bob Hawkins yeah. but John Leguizamo said something really hilarious is because the scene that it happened in is when they're in their uh, their plumber van and they are uh, driving you know fast through the traffic to get to the that uh, yeah. the uh, leak basically he stops and Bob Hoskins' hand is right at the door, and the, the door slides and slams right on his finger. I see that happening. And then he just remembers. You remember those fucking goddamn doors. But he just yes. remembers. Those doors he, on those oh, fucking yes. work vans. But he just yeah, remembers Bob dangerous. Hoskins basically just yelling out in a Cockney accent and cursing, like, motherfucker, you know, the, in a Cockney accent that's, because he broke his finger. That's funny that he has that accent. You, that wouldn't... Fuck it, Scapelli! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it was a fucking, it, it was horrible. But even Dennis Hopper, Dennis Hopper described the film's production. It was a nightmare. Very honestly, that movie, it was a husband and wife directing team who were both control freaks and wouldn't talk before they made decisions. Anyways, I suppose i go down there for five weeks, and I was there for 17 fucking weeks. It was so over budget. Sounds like the, oh uh, sounds like the abyss. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, this, this, this movie did fucking. I'm looking forward to listening to that episode, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
And right. in 2007, <laughs> autobiography, John Leguizamo states that he and Bob Hoskins hated working on the film. This goes back to the drink we did and would frequently get drunk to make it through the experience. Both men apparently knew the movie would turn out so bad, so they simply tried to make the best of it. He also said he felt one of the biggest reasons the movie turned out the way it did is because the directors wanted more adult movie with the studio, considering the source material was looking for a children's film. Yeah. And... When you think about it, when you look at the fucking place. Is that where they had fucking the triple X? Uh, yeah. Animal, I was a teenage animal, mammal, triple X. Yeah, that one. What the fuck? And also the fucking dancing scene. There yeah. were strippers in there, and the strippers were wanting to strip. They were actually wanting to take <laughs> their clothes off because they thought they were doing do an adult movie. Because they're strippers. That's what they do. Exactly. But when you think of that, hey, and I'm then not you're hating. I'm not hating. Oh, strippers. I'm not either. But the fact that it's a Mario you, film and that shit's happening. You do what you got to do, girl. Yeah. I mean, Leguizamo, I don't know how much I'm trusting Leguizamo. I am honestly looking at his fucking guy. Is it Leguizamo or Leguziamo? I always heard it with Leguziamo. You guys I, corrected me and said it's Leguizamo. Leguizamo. I've always heard Leguizamo. Yeah. I've always heard Leguizamo. So that's why I went with Leguizamo so I don't get a fucking punishment shot. So I've been trying to okay. fucking practice Mr. That. Leguizamo, please <laughs> give us a call. Be a guest on the, our episode uh, and, and, and correct us. Uh, the past. The past, yes. Yeah. That movie the was past. so, yes. oh my God. I'm looking at his goddamn uh, IMDb. And so like that, and with how early, I think he'd only done a couple films, but prior to this, barely fucking anything. Yeah. To me, for him to have a fucking starring role, I'm assuming he had just had a massive fucking heart on the entire goddamn time. <laughs> yeah, but what movies did he do beforehand? Uh, he had a small part in Die Hard 2. I remember that. Yeah, he was in the church scene. Yeah, um, hold on. I am uh, looking at all filmography. I think he was in Summer of uh, Sam, or is that before or after? We Back in time, Movies. so I'm doing high way back. Spawn and Canto. He was in Spawn. He was all a right. clown. Yeah, but that was after. That William was 1995. I think. Yeah. All right. So he had uh, an, uh, a bit part two. in Madonna Borderline video, a bit part this in Mixed Blood in '84, Miami Vice, a couple episodes, Casualty of War. He had a small part. A uh, movie called Revenge with uh, um, Kevin Bacon. A uh, small part, Die Hard Two. Ooh. A uh, small part way. in Burning Question, Street Hunter, Genteel Alouette, small part, yeah. Poison, Hanging with the Homeboys, Out for Justice, Regarding Henry, NYPD Mounted, a TV He was in Regarding movie. Henry with Harrison Ford? Uh, apparently, a uh, liquor yeah. store gunman. Really? That was his role, liquor oh, store gunman. I don't remember that. Puerto Rican Mambo, Whispers in the Dark, Time Expired, which is a short movie, and then... Super Mario Brothers. So this will be his first starring role, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't care how shitty of a goddamn movie it is. If it's your first fucking starring role, you're not sitting around, oh, this is fucking horse shit. Fuck this. No. Your first starring role, you are literally performing in a film with Bob Hoskins, with Dennis fucking Hopper. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry. You are, no, you, you, I, I, you're going over the fucking goddamn moon. Oh, by the way, right. you, you know Dennis Hopper? You want to try to base it? They tried to make him look more of like a Donald Trump character. I can see that. Yeah, for yeah. Uh, King Koopa. Yeah. They, the, they even had um, a, a, a Trump reference. Uh, I forget what it said exactly. Koopa Tower, Trump Tower. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, it, it, the way he, he, when something was written was written. You Who know, else caught, Trump. caught the uh, World Trade Center scene? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was Trump Tower. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, not Trump Tower. I mean, uh, Koopa you. Tower. Koopa Tower, sorry. No, that wasn't the World Trade Center, right? No, the, the two no, the merging, that, the merging. You're talking yeah, about the merge. That was still yeah, but yeah, even no, no, no. no in the okay, in the yeah, yeah. underworld, what, what's it called? The the, the different dimension yeah. world or everything else. Dimension. Yeah, Nintendo was so embarrassed with this movie that they never let any of their games be made into movies. A Metroid movie was shelved because of this movie. That's a fucking shame. Cause yeah, because they, they were going to make it. That kind of sucks. That would have been, that may have okay. been a good one. If they had treated uh, it yeah. the way they fucking treated this no, goddamn right. film, no. yeah. no, it would have like been this, garbage. Not yeah. like this one. If they treated it the way they fucking treated the original they, fucking goddamn story, the way they treated this one, it would have been garbage. Well, so they, the thing no. is, no, yes, you're right. All right, you're like right. Zelda. Think about if they had done Zelda a fucking, But I'm still you know shocked what? that it has not been made into I a movie. Kinda, I kind of want a Metroid movie now. I do, too. And I would love to see it. But if they treat it the way they Ooh. fucking treat it, Super Mario Brothers, nah, fuck you. Get the nah. fuck away. Yeah. Nah, nah. They, they need to do this shit up like like the Halo yeah, but, um, forward unto dawn. Wait, but I have to ask oh, you this. The Halo fucking series. It's really, yeah. it's really going to come up to it because I have a question That's I'm going to ask about no. video game adaptions. The Halo series is fucking, the TV no. series? No, the TV series is fucking awesome. Yes. But. I haven't seen so, it yet. Oh, it's good. So, right, so you've played Halo. 
Yeah, I'm I'm replaying right. the Master Chief collection right now. Yeah, okay, so the whole thing of Master Chief is is that you don't know what he looks like. Yeah, and that I heard right? they showed his face, and, and then he they like never fucking it. takes off yeah. his helmet. No, you he, never know what John looks like. Right. So first fucking episode, bam, motherfuckers! Oh, oh, okay. I'd have been so I, I fucking helmet comes off. off. But they do it right. Okay, so they do it in what do you a mean good you did way. It right. All right. No, they so do it the reason they don't way, show though. the face is so it makes it easier when you're playing to put yourself in that person. No. Yes, it does. I mean, yes, but that's re- that's the yeah. whole reason I'm, uh, 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 of yeah, whole, of not showing him. But the, the fact, but, yeah, but, the, but, but they, they showed wise, his face though, didn't he? Huh? They showed his face throughout that whole series. Not in the game. No, and, and the, no, no, the no, game they didn't. The I mean, you exactly. never knew who you looked like. No, but that's the reason that they showed the face. They want you to connect to the character. Yeah. All right, and 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 they chose a a great actor to no, play they, no they really did yeah and it, it worked really fucking well i'm a big fan of the series the tv series right um they did a lot of justice and i was very nervous of course i'm like all right halo it's a great fucking goddamn series um amazing fucking potential in story it's so wide ranging and then you have this fucking awesome goddamn character of uh, master chief all right and how are they gonna fucking do this justice i was super nervous they did it well they did it fucking amazing did they, they renew it for a second season I'm probably. I believe so. Or was it a well, limited series? No, I'm, I'm no, pretty sure they really. I yeah. I would argue series. that while yes, it makes it easier for you to put yourself in the place of the character. Blah blah blah. When but, you're playing a first person shooter, it makes but sense to do. Also, that. I think the bigger part was to make him a mysterious, larger than life character that he really lives up to. See, I'm, I lucked out because Crystal's one of those uh, gals that uh, she will get me a video mm-hmm. game, come home with it, and be like, hey. Chase, can you play this for me? And she just wants to sit down on the and ground watch and watch me play the video game. Yeah. Wow. So I'm like, Crystal is exactly, because Sammy's the exact same way. She loves me watching the Resident no. Evil, well, she loves me playing the Resident Evil game so she can watch me play. Yeah, I'm playing Village right now for Crystal. She loves watching me yeah. play those, yeah. Because yeah. it's like watching a movie, basically. It's like Last of Us, it's another one right there. Yep. Going back to the casting, who would you feel would be a better Mario and Luigi? Oh, Keanu like, round Reed. table, I'm, round table. So, how about you start, Ragnar? Yeah, I know. put it right on your fucking plate. <laughs> All right, first, you can't move. Ten. You better hit him in All the right, nipple too. Then or now? <laughs> now, now. No, oh. I'm not talking about animated. I'm talking about live. Yeah, yeah, I, live. I, I'd had to what mentally... would you think is a better Luigi and Mario? All right, so Mario, um, Stu, if you go ahead, Stu, you can go ahead and go first you know if you can. Right, so, I'll, you know what? Ray Liotta. Now? Uh, Mario? Yep. Right Ray now? Ray Liotta dead. I don't care. You would be playing a very unenergetic character, sir. I know. I don't care. I think... Rest in peace, do, but... Do, 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 All right, then I'll, I'll, I, I already pick it. Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. No. Fuck, <laughs> fuck De Niro. <laughs> <laughs> I hate De Niro, too, but still. he he. I, I could just imagine Al Pacino and Robert De Niro as Mario and Luigi. That would just fucking crack me the fuck up. I think, I think, I think Ray Liotta would do a good Mario, even though he's dead. You, you, you didn't stipulate. You didn't stipulate if that. No, you, you said now. No, you're right. He did. Yeah, he, he said now. Yeah. Fucking now Ray Liotta just fucking died, and he's dead. So he <laughs> doesn't matter. That's literally the fucking out I just did. <laughs> God damn it, boy! <laughs> don't matter. <laughs> so yeah, so fuck you. I'm picking Ray Liotta. I don't give a shit. All right, how about you, Stu? Okay, so for Luigi, I can see Christian Bale. What? Yeah. Christian Batman? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Because for little Mario, <laughs> Peter Dinklage. <laughs> no! For little Mario. You did not. For little Mario. No, because he turned down the role. He refuses to be typecast. <laughs> oh, but my then, God. He's Peter a mushroom. T- and then he turns into fucking goddamn like Arnold. Or <laughs> like no, no. Uh, holy shit. I want to see this. The Rock mocapping. I'm a Mario. Yeah. Yes, the rock, the rock as big fucking Mario. Mocapping mo- for Peter Dinklage's Peter Dinklage head. Until he eats a goddamn fucking shroom and Holy turns it into the rock. That would be amazing. I would absolutely pay money yeah. for Do that. Do you and know a, what the mushroom Christian is Bale cooking? Beside him the entire time. Yes. yes. All right, because he's towering over fucking Peter Dinklage. All right. <laughs> now I'm so depressed in my choice. <laughs> yeah. What is yours? Uh, so I was thinking, uh, what's his face played... Uh, in the new Ooh, Christopher Walken. 
Too old. As, why? Too old. I mean, <laughs> too old. I'm sorry. Why not? I don't care what role you're talking about. Why not? He's too old for it now. Why not? I love that motherfucker so much. <laughs> or I would, I, I would go gay for Christopher Walken. <laughs> no, 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 no. Vin Diesel no. as Mario. No. Why not? He's too ah. tall. He's, I mean, he's my t- my height actually. Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, what? he's five nine. What? Vin Diesel? That Vin, doesn't seem right at all. Vin Diesel is my is my height. Does I, well, not seem sorry, right. he's an inch shorter than I am. Vin Diesel's taller. No, he, I think he, he's right because I've seen him in front of the Rock, and he's pretty short. Yeah, but the Rock is over six foot. It says right here, uh, Vin Diesel is five foot eleven and a half. Chase is wrong. Really? Yeah. Because I had looked that up a couple well, years back, and I was I'm looking right here. Um, well, he gained a two and a half inches since you've uh, last looked. You got a growth spurt. <laughs> well, so he's a late bloomer. Th- this kind of, this actually came up because uh, so obviously I work in the automotive industry and there's a there's a body shop. What? No, down the road. Yeah, I'm looking at multiple and places. One of the body only guys. One says five nine. Looks Everybody fucking else says exactly. Yeah. like Vin Diesel. And every time he used to come into the the auto shop I worked at, he was all I was always like, so when when are you gonna get this stunt double job? Like you look. Like a spitting fucking image of Vin Diesel, and he really does. I always give him shit for him uh, for it. So I, I that's when I looked it up, and I was, so everybody else says five nine, and what website says five eleven and a half? Uh, okay, no one website says oh, five okay. nine. Everybody else says five eleven and a half with shoes. I uh, guess I don't know. All right, so this is a side by side picture of Rock and Vin. Oh, they're almost the same size. I can see it in well, the picture. No, no, Rock, the Rock is uh, standing in By, front of him. Though. Yeah, so which oh. means they're equal height, but the Rock is still taller. Yeah, so. I've seen the Rock and him in Fast and the Furious, and you can see him standing over him. So yeah, yeah, the I mean, Diesel like, is at least about an inch, two inches taller. Like near yeah, them shorter. face to face. Yeah. Oh, oh. I think Vin Diesel would be a good mark. Oh, but this is one like you know a cast photo, so it might not be as much film. Uh, you know, trickery. See, Rock that's that's the picture I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, they look short. He looks shorter. Uh, all right, but hold on. Let's see what the rock's height is then. Six, two, six, three. That's it? Well, while you're looking that up. So yeah. I would like to see Miles Teller as Luigi. They have he, uh, here listed on Google as yeah, uh, the rock is Johnny Galecki. As... No, I know. I know he rocks tall. No. Yeah, they have. Uh, that's six five. Right yeah, there. he probably is. Actually, you He's know tall. what? No, I want Jack Black as Mario. That might work. <laughs> Jack Black as Mario and Miles that Teller would be as fucking Luigi. That kind of funny, man. I would love to see that, actually. Jack Black, yeah, and, and Will Ferrell as Luigi. Uh, Miles Teller, he's got so much more range. Six four. Uh, most places will claim Rock is 6'5", but Rock himself has said he is 6'4". Right, That's so funny. 6'4". Right. He's probably just wearing right, boots. But still, even 6'4", even yeah. yes, um, I, I can see 5'11", then, in that picture. Yeah. I can yeah. see 511. Yeah. Yeah. We're here. Going back to the movie, I'm going to have to say this about the uh, directors. <laughs> yeah, I think. I think no, you're uh, still short. Yeah. Jack Black. You Jack are Black short. is Miles Mario. Jack Black is a good one. But Miles Teller, right? Miles Teller. Okay, how about, how about Maverick Peter Dinklage? From Top Gun. Yeah. Yeah. How about Peter Dinklage as Little Mario, Jack Black as Big Mario? It could work. Peter Dinklage is not that fat could, like Jack Black, work. though. Yeah. yeah but but Mario, when he, grew, when he hits the mushroom, he, he isn't thin or ripped or anything like that. He's just Plum. taller. <laughs> I don't they see that any juicy. difference. He just looks bigger. He, he still exactly. looks fucking plump. Exactly. He did, that's why I'm saying Jack Black could work as tall Mario after shrooms with Peter Dinklage as little Mario. Why do I actually want to see that? Yeah. That actually sounds good. <laughs> well, the thing about this movie, though, well, is we're the gonna directors. Well, we're going to see that yeah. in um, uh, the, the, the remake coming up. Um, Toxic, uh, Toxic Avenger. Yeah, I know, which I'm looking forward to that's seeing. That's going to be so interesting. We still we With still have to do the Toxic ass. Avengers a movie. Yeah. We still have to do that. But the directors of this movie were fired off the end of the making of the movie that they were not they were locked out and were not good. allowed in the they editing should room. Be. They are that's fucking good. garbage. They Fuck did them. horrible. No, they, they were very controlling on the on everything about this. But the one thing that I will give credit to this movie is there were various items from the video games that do appear, at least throughout the film. This include the bomb bombs. Thwomps. Thwomp stompers are oversized Thwomp. footwear. Thwomp. 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 That's what I, I, I was thinking about. Something that looked like Trump that was right now like that. And Thwomp. And Thwomp. Yeah. Uh, right to look okay. in the same style that Trump Coop- power was right now. Koopafari Desert. 
most of the world is the desert. Yoshi, a baby T Rex. Goombas, transformed citizens. Big Bertha, the big uh, the girl with the red uh, spiky uh, dress. That's Big the Bertha, big the fish in the. Uh, you remember the big red fish mm-hmm. in the Mario game? That's what that's that based was, off. That's of. not fucking goddamn Bertha. That's I, Big Bertha. I, I, well, that's what I know. But they mm-hmm. they called her Big Bertha, but it's based off that fish with the spikes like on Goombas. it. Quick, uh, quick, Goombas were just big tall men with. Dinosaur heads. I couldn't figure that shit out. What was the fuck? What was up with that? With the small heads on the big bodies? Well, they were dinosaurs. You know, they were reverted. They were, they were de- getting evolved. De- de- evolved. Yeah, I don't know. And the bullet bill cartridges that were put into the stompers. I thought that was pretty cool. And then you have uh, uh, the fry guy. A uh, poster on the wall when the woman checks in the plumber's tool belts at the bar. On the projector screens of the Boom Boom Bar, there is a yeah, graphic of Bowser's hideout from Super Mario World game being bounced about. She definitely does check out there. Uh, yeah. The, the, I mean, there were some little things toward the game, but it, it, you're just nodding your head like, well, this, that's the this thing. Like, all right. So you need to understand, like, you, you, you would need to be able to see where they were going with it. Yeah. To be able to understand the game reference. Yeah. Well, the, the thing you is know, that they were trying to go completely different. I mean, they even got the fucking uh, designer. Uh, for David uh, David Snyder, production designer for Blade Runner, to do the production design on this movie. Did he say yes? No, he did it. Oh, that's oh. why when you look oh, at the I fucking he said city, they tried to. Yeah, well, the city that was filmed the uh, the stage was the same stage that they used for Terminator Two uh, at the uh, scene where uh, Terminator is being uh, dipped into the uh, lava. Uh-huh. Oh wow! The, or not lava, the uh, molten yeah. um, metal. It's the same type of set. That's where they put the set on, basically. But oh. ah, there was a whole bunch of fucking, you know, crazy shit. And Fuck this movie. I'm really glad this movie was <laughs> You really don't like this movie. He's angry as shit over here. Well, then we're going to talk about our favorite scenes, because I'm really curious if you even have a favorite scene. So well, that's easy. Ragnar, They're what is yours? They're dancing in the fucking elevator. Yeah, <laughs> Honestly, that yeah. Was cute. That was that, cute. That's like that the fucking adorable. best scene in the entire that fucking movie. Getting all the Goombas to fucking yeah, dance. Yeah, dude. Fucking, and then they start know, dancing at the end. They're dancing together. <laughs> You know, and they're swaying. Opens back. the door. He's like, yeah, what are you what doing? Are you doing? <laughs> oh, God, shit. I wasn't doing the goddamn thing. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know why I'm oh, dancing. Man. You know? Everybody <laughs> loves to <the> dance. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dinosaur. And, the and, dinosaur and they dance. They start fucking dance at the very end, too. I had completely blocked that entire fucking goddamn <laughs> music out of my head. The dinosaur um, song? Yeah. And Everybody, I was like, when that came that was on, I was catchy. like, okay, okay, I remember this fucking song now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is that catchy fucking song. For real, that was catchy as shit. Hey, I, I got to do the dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> I got some quick uh, Mario trivia. Do you all remember uh, Super Mario number three, where you could, like, get the wing power up and yes! fly? Yes, yes. You know what that's based on? My balls. Close. They're very flighty. This is they actually, are. This, so the Jesus. wing power-up is actually based on Japanese folklore for a creature called the Tanuki. Which tanuki! Is, it's a, it's a raccoon, raccoon dog yeah. that can fly by expanding its fucking balls. No, seriously? 100%. Oh, so you were right. You were right on point. Yes, I'm fucking right. <laughs> God damn it. Hell yeah. You were right on That's point. That's the whole basis of the, of the wing power-up. of course, power Chase up. would know about raccoon shit. <laughs> <laughs> Stu, what's your favorite scene? <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, man, I love my balls. <laughs> you were right on point. We called the bat wing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, oh, now, now, I'm, now I'm getting fucking... Uh, <laughs> getting fucking uh, we used to fucking play that game, too. <laughs> yes, and I was yes, fucking lost. Yes, we did. <laughs> Walking in with your fucking balls, I had to get yes. kicked in the ass. Yes, we did. We oh, my God. Straight oh, stole oh, oh, it. Oh, 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 it's, it's, it's from the movie <laughs> Waiting. The ball, yes. Waiting. We used to do that played shit. that game? That motherfucker. Oh, that oh, game's awesome. Yes. Uh, shout out, he shout out to, uh, shout out to uh, a gentleman I work with, Cal L. Great name. Is he Superman? No, he goes up. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I was just saying. He goes by Cal L. Aloran, for those who are nerdy <laughs> enough to understand the <laughs> reference. Uh, no, that's not like his real real life, what he goes by. But anyway, uh, for on here, just in case he ever shows was. up for one of our uh, yeah. comic, uh, comic ones, I know that's what he wants to go by. Do. But yeah, he used to end up playing that on at uh, when he worked at uh, at Chili's because he doesn't fucking work there anymore. So we we did that at our fucking job, and yep. Stu always fucking well. <laughs> I always got hey, in we're the all there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god, the then, fucking oh, memories. And then hit each other in the fucking nuts, and you would fucking always miss somehow. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, my dear bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember Shamrock Fest when you knocked me out. Where basically you what kicked, the shit? No, he hit me so hard that it, I, no, I I was on the dropped him like a fucking. It was on the metro. No, was yeah. it on the metro? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he just like banged it so I was like, Whoa. <laughs> and I was out. Uh, King's Dominion. <laughs> Oh God! No, no, Shamrock Fest. No, no, no. I'm saying, remember Kings Dominion? Oh God! In Don't the, remind in me. In the locker area. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yep. 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 Oh. My balls. So have gotten I've been knocked beaten. out twice in my life, and I bet you I can top your story of the first time you got knocked out. I've only been knocked out twice by the same motherfucker. Okay. Well, the first time I was ever knocked out, I was standing on bleachers, and this chick in front of me on the ble- bleachers above. She was really excited and wanted to turn around to show me something. Jumped around and she had like size G tits. All right. Smacked me in the fucking face with them and I 100% was knocked out cold. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> all right, Stu. So, what is your favorite scene? Um, probably the, the fucking dance scene because of the fucking song. Oh my God. <laughs> I totally forgot about the song that I watched this movie and it was so fucking. It's like. It's like Oh, uh, rewatching TMT uh, two and Vanilla Ice comes yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. Oh my! Go Ninja, go Ninja, go! All so right, you, wait, wait, you know, on. it's like, oh my god, this is such a great fucking song. Wait, a minute, you're talking it's about so the bad, but so good. You're talking about the club dance, not the one inside the elevator. Elevator? No, no, no. I'm, no, I'm talking about the club dance. You know, the dinosaur <laughs> song. Elevator. Everybody do the dinosaur. dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm talking about the elevator. No, one. no. To me, my favorite is just because of that. Honestly, song. though, mine is a is a tie between those two. Like, yeah. I could hundred percent support the. the the, the elevator scene that was kind of it was stupid but dope I, yes. I dig it but also specifically when Mario gets cracked a fuck in the jaw by uh, Big Bertha, Big Bertha. Big Bertha. Oh that's, my that's, that's, that's mine you, that's my favorite scene would you would yes you, no, no, no that whole scene with Big Bertha you know, is what I, I fucking love I got some weird fucking vibes you know why that's his favorite scene? I got some yeah, weird fucking vibes off that shit. Bitch. Exactly. <laughs> what? What yeah. was that? Dominated by a big bitch. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker! Yeah. That's a huge bitch. Yeah, no, that's, that's a big that's bitch. Not, that's not my role. I need to have that oh, fucking. Okay, so, I need to have that sound bite. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> that's so, a huge oh, bitch. Oh, he's gonna find you one. He's gonna find you no, one. No, no, no. There, and the, oh, the, the cast photo that pops up on Google for Big Bertha is just so goddamn ridiculously different. Uh, hold on, we're back, 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 back. back, back. Let, let, let everybody know that they can find this on Google. Uh, oh yeah, looking yeah it no, up. no. Uh, I am super fucking lazy. Uh, all right, <laughs> all right. So Francisca P. Roberts is the is Big Bertha. All right, look at her cast. <laughs> yes, I saw that. So fucking different. Whoa, whoa, yes. whoa! What the fuck? Exactly. <laughs> Normally, anytime I've seen one that is blacked up, black and white, it's like they're not, they're dead. Yeah. Or I mean, even then, this black and white, she looks nothing like Big Bertha. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, that's funny. I did the favorite scene. So, I mean, Chase, your scene is the exact same scene. The whole scene when uh, Mario's, especially gets first punch and then he says she's he just goes, playing hard to get shy yeah or something like that <laughs> yeah because when she's shy she knocks your fucking teeth out that's what happened all right so here's a question Thank to you. ask you guys what is your favorite super mario game when you were a kid what was your favorite one in 64 super mario 64 super mario well the uh super nintendo super mario world super nintendo yeah. okay i like that one how about yours chase super mario 64 Mine is uh, the Game Boy version, uh, Super Mario World Three, uh, Wario Land. Yeah, it was a- Wario Land was fun. Yeah, it oh, was yeah? a fun game. I fucking love that game. But Super Mario Three would be my my number two. Um, yeah, it, that was fucking amazing. You remember the game, the uh, the movie, The Wizard? Yeah, where it was basically just a big commercial. Basically, it was Super amazing. Mario Three. Yeah, yeah. Where it was I love the screen. motherfucking Fred Savage in that bitch. Yep. yep. All right, it was straight rip rip off. But yeah, remember when they tried to commercialize? <laughs> yeah, yeah but remember they tried yeah. to commercialize the Power Glove and how bad that thing really was. It looked amazing. Dude, that was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> when people got it, it was I don't care. Shit. Which it looked amazing. For the record, I wanted that shit. I got that shit. I was disappointed by that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, it yeah. was amazing. No, it looked super fucking cool in yeah. the commercials. But no, uh, in the Abyss. In the abyss, that's all I could think of was his little fucking typey tap. Yep. Uh, typey yeah, I was. Tap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but your friends that actually had the fucking yeah. glove, you thought it was the coolest fucking it was. thing in the goddamn world. Yep. I'm so, too young to have ever had friends that had that. Uh, you are. 
Yeah, fuck, I'm not even goddamn little. You. Well, did you I know? I did, however, have Time Crisis that it had to plug. Time in. Crisis was amazing. Yeah, it had uh, to plug well, into the CCTV yes. or yes. the the. Uh, you know, you remember the D Evolution guns? You know what those were? They were just repainted yep. versions of the Super Nintendo light gun accessory, the I Super Scope. I love it! The, the bazooka. I can see that. Yeah, those were yeah. Super Scopes. They, yeah. they just super super painted them up. That's the name. Yes, the Super, super Scopes. scopes. Yeah. Yep. Oh, they were amazing. So, yeah. by the way, my my Time Crisis still works if you want me to bring it Oh, Time Crisis is amazing. We can fucking play that oh, on my that PS2 a, that still works. Oh, that's amazing. You still have a working PS2? <laughs> I still have a working PS1 with all the yeah. original uh, memory cards and both of the controllers that fucking came in the box with it. I love classic. I love classic systems, especially Dreamcast. I love the Dreamcast. That was a good system. But still, no. 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 I'm sorry. Just no. no. Yes. <laughs> really? Yes. That, that no. second went out with a no. bang with that no. one. Nothing really beats the feel of that N64 square fucking rectangular uh-huh. goddamn that's edges digging yes. into your fucking palms. <laughs> yes. All right. No, it just, Fuck ergonomics, all right? It, no. It didn't even give a damn. But it just felt right. Here, push buttons on a brick. And it worked. <laughs> I almost never heard that noise. Oh, you never died. I'm a fucking platformer at heart. <laughs> All right. So if you guys had to pick Ooh, a, a bitch. if you guys had to pick a video <laughs> game out there to be a good movie adaption, what would it be? Mine would be Duke Nukem. Okay. I'm are still you, waiting for a Duke Nukem movie. Now, are you talking yeah. about any game made into a movie? I'm looking forward to the Borderlands movie by Eli Roth. Are they doing Ooh. That? Oh, oh yeah, her? I had not. Oh yeah, really? no, no. They, they were done filming. They're in post no. right now. Motherfucking uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is Tannis. No shit. Yes. Oh, that's got to be so good. Yes. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm pumped. Oh, yeah. No, I am super, super duper excited about this ever since I fucking heard, especially since Eli Roth is the goddamn director. Oh, I'm that like, better be fucking good. Exactly. Uh, Ariana <laughs> so Greenblatt though. is going to be Tiny Tina. Florian Montau is going to be Krieg. Okay. Um, Bobby Lee is going to be some dude named Larry. I can't remember Larry. <laughs> uh, but either way, I love, Larry. I, I, I love Bobby okay. Lee. Bobby Lee is amazing. You you, uh, you were like a like yeah. loved Borderlands. Didn't oh, you? Uh, it's a great fucking it's goddamn a fucking series. Great game. It's a yeah. cell shaded goddamn game. It's fucking got great humor. Uh, amazing fucking. Uh, it's a great storyline. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Are they procedurally generated uh, weapons? They right. They are. Yeah. Gina Gershon is gonna be Mad Moxie. Yes. Yes. Kate Although Blanchett. I could also see it's gonna be Lilith. I could also really? see um, yeah. what's her face that played Harley Quinn. Yeah, Margot, Margot Robbie. Robbie yeah. Yes, Margot Robbie. All right, so Jamie Lee as uh, Jamie Lee Curtis uh, as uh, Doctor Tannis, which okay was older than I was picturing Tannis to be. Uh, but okay, I'll, I'll get a shot. Oh, Kevin pull that off though. Kevin Hart is going to be Roland, which. It, but it threw me, but then it shows him working wow. out and getting fucking ripped. Okay. For a goddamn Roland. I'm like, okay. And this movie's already been filmed? Yeah. Um. All right. Uh. Benjamin Byron. Roland. He Davis. was in the tank class, wasn't he? Uh. Yeah. What the fuck? Exactly. That's a. But he, he got ripped he for it. Jacked for that one. He got ripped like, for it. Like, I could see he them probably literally got training, He probably got Eddie training Hall. from The Rock yeah. with how good of friends he is. Uh, I mean, yeah, probably. Benjamin Byron Davis is going to be Marcus. Uh, mm-hmm. Cheyenne Jackson is going to be uh, Jacob. Uh, Ryan Re- Redmond is going to be Ellie. And then Jack Black, which I'm not a big fan of this casting, but Jack Black is going to be voicing mm-hmm. Claptrap. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. I can see it, but okay. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't. If you're gonna be with voicing some it, alteration, why are you gonna even bother fucking alteration. changing the goddamn original? Goddamn. Okay, but yeah. it, it still falls on the question because the question is, what would you like to see be seen as a video game that that's, that's already that's been it. done? That's it. Okay. Okay. All right. Metal, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Yeah. Period. Okay. Ragnar. Oh, Metal Gear would be fucking. The, the, awesome. the playground that they have to yeah. build in there. Oh, that would be so fucking awesome. Yeah. What's, uh, what's the one with the clown uh, The clown uh, um, car? Oh, uh, Twisted uh, Metal. Twisted metal. metal. Twisted Metal. You know what? Oh, that was so Twisted good. Twisted Metal would be fucking badass. Um, but I think I think Metal Gear would be... At, uh, fucking Death Race mm-hmm. did yeah. very, very similar to it. Yeah. So That had Sylvester Stallone, didn't it? Twisted Met or Death Race? They had a Death no. Race movie with Sylvester Stallone. No. Death Race, two, Death Race 2000. Unless it was straight to DVD. I, I don't know. I, I could have sworn. I mean, the only ones that I, the only, the only big one was uh, Death Race 1 um, with Jason Statham. Uh, that was the big one. Okay, Every, maybe I'm, you know, maybe everything I'm thinking of Everything else was pretty much uh, um, uh, straight to DVD. Oh, okay. 
or or live stream. Danny, so that's what you want to call it nowadays. Dan so, Gray with them Death Race Two. Sean yeah. Bean, Ving Rhames, Lou Gross. I was uh, gonna say that's basically Canet Phoenix, huh? Lauren Cohen. That's basically Twisted yeah. Metal. Yeah, it it, it is. But it at is. the same time, not quite. It's it's total. It's it has a different it's close. plot. It's remember close. Car, remember Carmageddon. Yep. You yeah. get to run over people. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What would you want to see, Chase? Half Life. Oh, oh, that would be fucking good, dude. Yeah, yeah that That'd would be, be good. Cool. Do you notice that all these all these are basically almost first person shooters that we're talking about? Just like I said, Duke Nukem. So like, I would love to see like a full full bore fucking Disney what? created Halo. A new movie. Doom. That would act. New Duke. A what? new oh, Doom. Doom. New Doom. Yeah, that'd be pretty fucking good. So, oh. so I was thinking of Doom. I, I was thinking of Doom, and and when I when I was thinking about it, I was like, all right, well, it's already been a game, and they've already made it into a movie. The best part of the fucking movie is when he start when you actually see the fucking the FPS. Okay. Version of it. Oh, when it goes, yeah, yeah. Okay. When it goes into fucking video oh, game holy mode. Shit. Yeah, Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. Oh, that's what I was just about shit. to bring up. Yeah. yeah, Wolfenstein would be fucking bad. I played the Wolf. You, you remember playing the PC Wolfenstein? Yeah, like the the one yeah. where it was like the old school graphics uh, on the PC. No, the new Wolfensteins are fucking amazing. Oh no, I played them all. Yeah, and oh. I remember playing Return to Castle Wolfenstein when that first came out in the original. Even Xbox. the newest one where you're playing uh, um, with his twin daughters. Yep. And yep. like that. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know yeah. what? I, I tell you what. Everybody listening, I would love it if you guys reached out to us on either Barely Age Flicks podcast or one of our other Instagram handles and tell us what your favorite video game would be to be made into a movie. Yeah. I want, And then I want to set up a poll on this. That would be freaking nice. So that would be fun. Okay. All right. So let's uh, on, let, get that set up. Yeah. <laughs> I can set that up. I well, can set up a moderator of Barrel Age uh, Flicks podcast on Instagram. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll set up a poll yeah. for that. I'll set up a poll. What? What? I could set it up on Twitter too. Yeah, go ahead and do that. All right, bet. All what right, so do you say flutter? It's water. <laughs> twatter? You, you tweet your twats. Tweet. <laughs> Jesus oh. Fuck. What the fuck? I'll tweet my twat for everybody if they pay enough. I will. <laughs> so <laughs> here, here's a here's a question to ask all you guys. What did you all think of Dennis Hopper in this film? Honestly, I think he did a good job. It was the captain for fucking Modern I mean, World. Yeah. Uh, so you he keep didn't going back to that. Role. He didn't change roles. No, he never does. Uh, and he always sounds no. the same. He's, he always overacts. I mean, to me, his best acting role was True Romance. That was Well, I don't think. Well, that's I don't like, like you for saying oh, that. He, his same <laughs> role wrong? was in No, role. I just. Exactly. Same role was in this You're one. not wrong. His, You're just an asshole. Same role was in uh, Speed. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't you know, that. And the same no, role, no, speed, and speed was I, I, no. Was I feel he was different. different than speed. Yeah, I the, do. His the act, not his acting. No, I feel the acting. I feel the way he portrayed the character was different than it was in speed. Really? Yeah. I, so? I was. I was thinking. I was thinking that because it, it, it made me actually think. I'm like, because the first thing I popped up was Captain from Waterworld. Yeah. I'm like, all right, does this Hopper play the fucking same role every fucking time? Um, like walking does. Yeah. All right, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm like no, no, because speed he he played it a little more twisted, a little bit more. Yeah, but like yeah. That, he, he the character seemed different to me. No, than it, what it is it, he 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 did he did play the same role as speed, I think, as he did in this one and Waterworld as well. I thought his acting his, in speed his, was a lot better. His though. mannerisms and the way that he uh, spoke. And everything um, was, I believe, the same as Speed. My God, I had his no idea. His speech was. I think that's his his. That Dennis Hopper speech. passed away in 2010? Yeah. Yeah. Long time ago. Yeah. I, I think one of his last movies before him was uh, Land of the Dead. Easy Jeez. Rider. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, no, that's classic. Great movie. Rest in peace. Okay. No, I love Dennis Hopper. You know, Even though Dennis Hopper was an overact, like his, I, my favorite role of his was True Romance. True Romance. Oh, true I romance love him in True Romance. Yes. True romance. The whole story about the eggplant yes. was the best yeah. fucking lines. With him and walking going off each other. Yes. Yeah. Was just amazing. <laughs> yeah. That That's actually a movie I plan on picking next year. So, um, all right. You know Fuck, what? I love Christopher Walken. Yes. Overall. You're going to love the, the movie that I have planned up for next year. Good. Seven <gasps> Psychopaths. Oh, great uh, one. Good one. Yeah. Great one. So, what are. Your video, your favorite video game adaptions of the nineties? No, or do you want to no. do any times? Overall, overall, overall. 
All right, Ragnar, and are you we go first. talking about our most enjoyed Not films? critical. No, enjoyed. No, no. Enjoyed. Are, are you talking about the ones that, that we felt were truest to the video game? Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Enjoyment. Okay. Just okay. go okay. to enjoyment. Okay. Enjoyment. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Resident Evil. Okay. Okay. Exactly. I, I have to go with that one. There, that that's, one there. I mean, even though it has absolutely no loyalty to the actual that's fucking That's why video I games, was asking for the fucking as, application. As movies on themselves, they're fun. They yeah. are. The movies are they're, great. They're the enjoyable. Games and the games I'm are fucking never going to not. Yeah. I'm never going to shit on a movie with Mila Jovovich. No, like, I want to fuck her <laughs> sideways. I will watch that over and over. Yeah, and she was in a red dress. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Playing footsie with me over here, but trying to. I'm trying to. Play yeah, you are. Aww. It's okay. It's okay. It's it's okay. To. Oh fuck <laughs> you! It's right. I want to try to it's, play it's fucking cool. footsie. It's because of the cologne. It's because it's it's of the cologne. Hey, times are tough. <laughs> All right, Stu, what's yours? Gotta get paid. Yeah, 40 twenty bucks 40 is twenty bucks, baby. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Stu, what's yours? Cheap. I said forty. I said twenty dollars is twenty dollars. No, I'm gonna. I'm hundred percent in agreement. That's why I, this this movie is why I made you the clarification: enjoyment or faithfulness. Uh, to the subject matter, Resident Evil is most enjoyable to me of yep. all the video game adaptations. That's really shocking. I thought you would pick something else. But nope. Okay, Resident Evil. How about you, Chase? No, it, it is it, close it, between that and Halo. Halo's a Halo. TV series. I'm talking about a movie. No, there's a movie. Theatrical movie. Yeah. When did a Halo movie go in the theaters? Fall of Reach? Oh, oh you're talking the, about theater the, releases? Theatrical, yes. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, no, well, Was you, Re- Resident Evil ever theatrical release? Yes. Well, yes. If, we're, oh, okay. if we're throwing animated, then, uh, then it'd probably be the Final Fantasy. Um, uh, oh, Final Fantasy's good, The too. Spirits Within? Yeah, Is that what it's Spirits called? Spirits Within was yeah. fucking amazing. I never saw it. Oh, it's, it's good. fucking goddamn amazing. It's I, gorgeous. Huh. It is fucking gorgeous. But if you're throwing animation, which I, I feel if you're doing a video game adaptation movie, it has to be live action. Yeah, I, I believe so. Yeah. Oh, well, well, what's your, Chase, what is yours? I, I it thought, can't be Halo because that's not theatrical. Hmm. No, that's that's the TV series. Then it would have to be Resident Evil. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you all three picked Resident well, Evil. Well, because it's action packed. There's good storyline. It's cool. Uh, it's got it's got signature props that you know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, I'm Sammy. Sorry. The cow on what the, the head. fuck? Sam. His shoulders <laughs> up. <laughs> All right. We're coming here looking like a fucking damn monster. What the hell? I'm, I'm really, <laughs> really shocked that y'all play. It. Okay, I, I'm picking Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat is the best video game adaption, in my opinion. Eh. It, it was fun and super it was fun. really true it super fun. fun it was enjoyable it was great yeah which i mean resident evil would be strong second though and but the thing See, is resident thing, evil like, is mortal Kombat would be a strong second yeah no yeah. i agree yeah. i agree yeah yeah, yeah so um, it's like, it'd be mortal Kombat and uh resident evil mortal Kombat is just was so fucking good it was just enjoyable compared to when street fighter came out and that was like dog shit so but the so, one so that, that i wanna, do you want to ask about like what do you think the worst fuck it let's do it what, what, what is the worst, worst video game what adaption do you think the of a movie? Would be this, this one, this one. Yeah, this yeah, one. I, I absolutely agree, a thousand percent. Yeah. The, okay, now what about the one you would remember? Most? Postal. That was yeah. still a great movie. No, no. I'm just movie. wondering if you like that yeah. or not. Oh, okay. oh no, I take it back. Prince of Persia. Uh, you think Prince of Persia, Persia is that worse bad. than no, this? No, 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 no. You no, said no, that no. was going that instead of Resident Evil. Instead of Resident Evil, Sands of Time, Prince of Persia. Oh. That you was pretty fucking good. That was better than Resident Evil. Yeah, he does. Well, remember that movie did come out even really more sooner. Come on, dude! He's young. Wow. It was more accurate to the storyline. No, we didn't say that. We, we're going enjoyable. by enjoyment. You enjoyment. enjoyed that one more than Resident Evil? Didn't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay. See, the, Resident Evil would be my second, just like Mortal Kombat would be it, number it, one, but the other way would be the other way around. Yeah, yeah, a ton of breaks that that even was was ever made. So I was like, oh my god, there's another video game. Want to see remade? Huh? What's the video game movie? That well, they you already did Mortal Kombat, and it was fucking Doom. dog shit. Um, I want to see Doom redone. Yeah, Doom would be pretty fucking awesome. <sighs> what else? They've already done Mortal Kombat again. To me, and uh, it sucked. Done, they've already <laughs> done Resident Evil. To me, Alone yeah, that in the sucked dark. too. From what you told me, it was horrible. It did. It, did. it was. I think it Alone was. in the Dark, left if for done dead. right, oh, oh, would left, be left for dead. Amazing. Left, for, left dead. for dead. Yeah. No, left, no. I think but the story left, I don't think was strong. No, well, that's strong. No, but remember um, remember House yeah, of the for, Dead? Uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. House of the Dead? Yeah. No, that, that was that, bad. But the story wasn't much to build on in the first place in the video game. That no, was just a true. straight shooter. That's yeah. all that fucking was. Yeah. Uh but I think Alone in the Dark with Alone, the creepiness yeah. Yeah. that was built into the game as a whole 
could be done as a really, really good. I think, that's fucking so, awesome. uh, Silent what's Hill. The, what's Silent, the, Hill. Silent Hill, that's what I was talking about. Silent Hill was a good one. Oh, shit. Yeah. That was a good one. Mm-hmm. That was decent. Yeah. Sorry, Silent Hill was very good. Silent Hill was decent. Yeah, exactly. that's it was that's decent. So I, I, I it was think better than Alone in the Dark. Well, you know what? I like no, that? I agree. No, that's yeah. what I like I about most Silent Hill though. Want to see Alone in the Dark remake? It, yeah, it, it it took historical facts mm-hmm. though for the actual yeah. movie, which was actually really fucking cool. It's a town up in Pennsylvania, right? That's on fire. Yeah, yeah. So and it's it's, a, it's, it's a mining abandoned. town it's yeah. still that got ignited. That, yeah, that fucking <laughs> the coal goddamn. is never going yeah. to fucking okay. go out. That Uncle Sam's like, y'all need to get the fuck out. Yeah, meow. <laughs> I, I know a better. I know <laughs> right what I'd love to see remade is Double Dragon. I was just looking at that because Double Dragon the original was horrible. That was that was, that was really that bad. Great that in the fucking done, game though, Ooh, in a that. right way. What do you guys uh, think about Hitman? Hitman sucked. I think the idea is the idea there, is great, but so you think a I don't know could be. I, I don't know, dude. It, I don't know if it's good enough to be a great film. Because I'm the going through. It. What about the Warcraft movie? Uh, Once again, I don't think that they, uh, I, really I that was that made was for the decent. fans. That was decent, but it yeah. was made for the fans of Warcraft because a lot of the fans of Warcraft liked it, but people that aren't fans of Warcraft did not enjoy uh, it. I'm no, see, super that's the thing. excited for the new D and D movie coming out. You have to play the game, yes. yeah, and understand. I, I'm worried it. though they're going to be more. Um, I so I am marvelized I, than for what uh, the new D and D movie. I don't care. I don't See, care. I've never played D and D. If they give us some, if but they give I've never D&D. actually physically played it, which I really fucking want to. If they, but I, but let's do I, it. I watch the fucking goddamn playthrough. Uh, yeah, yeah, over here. It looks right like amazing. It looks like I should fucking like, nah. About, oh, you know, I played uh, Vampire the Masquerade. I played other RPG, you know, uh, tabletop games. Okay, um, uh, Catan. Hey, uh, uh, I've not played Catan. Do you fun. know? It looks fun. So on um, on <laughs> on the Quest Two, they have VR Catan, so you can play online with your buddies a tabletop RPG now. Really nice. Yeah. Uh, I like the way our peanut gallery is going on. Really hey, uh, I just, I just signs at us this. right now. Hey, Yen, Yen, Yen is our peanut gallery. You want to say something to the mic real quick? Say hello. She's excited about something. Hello. Hey guys, how's everybody going? Hello. What's up, Yen? So yes, my husband actually has the game. On the Oculus. Catan? The one, yes. Yeah, okay. And he's probably actually playing. Settlers of Catan? <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, though. Speaking to the mic. Yeah, Put speaking, the, speaking, the, speaking to the mic. <laughs> and also a big D&D player, too. So there's that. I so know. I've been. <laughs> I think it would have been better if you just stopped after a big D. <laughs> <laughs> big D player, yeah. Um, so I don't know if you, have you ever heard of the uh, the podcast Girls Who Don't D and D. I have heard have. of it. So, yeah, I have. so I've, we've been talking with them for a little bit, and I'm obviously mm-hmm. I'm plugging them right now. They're out of Australia, and it's three girls who have never played that game before. And so this guy, so y'all should plug us. Yes. Wait. No, wait, we're already talking to no, him, bro. Not, <laughs> He's talking to girls not, who play not, D&D. Not telling not them to plug that way. You, know, you, want, you want to be plugged by some girls who play D&D? Apparently like, he does. There you go, Ragnar. Ragnar's all about the pegging. <laughs> <laughs> if you've never been pegged, Okay, let's go ahead and do the part. Dear reviews. Crystal, if you're hearing this, <laughs> use lots of lube for Chase. So, I'll, all right, I'm going to have uh, Ragnar start first. It eventually will lube itself. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, the blood. The blood will all just take care yeah, of it. We, we, went from, God, we went from, we went from, we went from Mario Brothers to pegging. What the fuck? That's, that's what that's the this movie goes. Welcome to BAF. Welcome. I'm sorry, people. Uh, oh, I'm my really God. sorry. Ragnar, we're going to start with you with the pie reviews, buddy. <laughs> Okay, critical. Uh, one okay. and a half. I, I thought you were just fine with one. No, <laughs> one out. No, uh, one. Absolutely a fucking one on critical. Okay, like it didn't follow. Yeah, there were there was uh, Easter eggs. I think and not, no, not Easter eggs. Um, hints to everybody's character in the fucking movie from the video game. Yeah, but aside from that. Dude, it didn't it didn't fucking do a goddamn thing. Um it really wasn't it wasn't fucking good. Uh enjoyment? Oh man. This this no. Oh, we're going to go with like a 2. 2 for enjoyment, 2 and a quarter. Okay. On enjoyment. All right. Um it it 
It's not a good movie. No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Whatever. It's, it's not. It's not a good movie. I don't. I don't. I, I. I'll rank this higher than the room. Um, I'll rank it higher than. Uh, Stu would disagree. What? Don't fucking speak for me. Don't fucking speak for me. So, you, you, so you think he <laughs> would Shut rank? Your mouth. I have so you know my goddamn rating. <laughs> you think you uh-huh. you think he would rank this lower than I hope the you're room? For an inside well, wait till you what get to his fuck. <laughs> and I'm giving it a fucking one and a two. <laughs> we'll, we'll say up to see. <laughs> what the? What, what about nipples? <laughs> You know what? So, all right. So, in the editing. So, um, it, you know, the, uh, the whole, <laughs> the whole fucking premise of the movie got fucking blows. Oh, it was ridiculous. I love it. You know, it, it didn't make any fucking sense. You know, I understand the whole point of Mario and Luigi as plumbers, you know, and they're, they're trying to fix leaks in the pipes because, <laughs> you know, that's what plumbers do. Yep. You know, but I, I mean, fuck. <laughs> I did have a pretty big problem with the uh, the cave scene, honestly. Which one? When they were coming down there and they were actually trying to, and he was like, pass me this tool and this tool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The basin wrench. What are you doing with the basin (laughs) wrench? That's not how that works. I'm just flailing him around in the water. I like Bob Hoskins in uh, 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 fucking Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Oh, yeah. Dude, Who Framed Roger Rabbit is a fucking classic. Classic, beautiful. Absolutely. I, I can't say the same for this one, though. No. So it's it's almost a fucking dumpster fire. <laughs> almost. It's I mean, it's literally probably a fucking cunt hair away from a goddamn dumpster fire. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I no. I I I I I don't fucking enjoy this goddamn movie at all. All right, Stu, what is your uh one as a fucking enjoyment? Um critical I would I would probably say a one and a half. Only Shit, because the sets that's were kind of cool. Yeah, honestly, they were. yeah, they were. They were. Um, it didn't look cheap. The effects no. were kind of cool. What? For what they were do- would for, you would you want the stompers? It was nineties, dude. The everything looked cheap. The stompers, the, stompers, the, stompers the, the ones that made it jump. Would you ever want to try oh, that? So oh, this yeah. motherfucker, the, stomper, the thwomps. I think they were called the thwomp stoppers or something like that. Okay, I mean, so do I. So I'm yeah, really fucking surprised. They were basically fucking moon boots on crack. Yes, I would love those. I just wanted to do a shout out to how excited I got when they popped out the fucking bullet. Uh, the cartridge for the <laughs> bullet, ma- bullet bill, yeah. the forty and, mil, yeah, it's fucking forty fucking mic, forty mic, mic. Mike. Yeah. I was pumped, like I was home alone watching this movie, and I started today. checking off over a forty mic, no. mic that would very fucking go no, off. I was just because it didn't fucking meet the revolutions. <laughs> God damn it, man! <laughs> <laughs> no, I just saw you the forty mic. I just yeah. fucking knew it. <laughs> he nailed your ass to the fucking I did. wall. <laughs> Jesus. He blew up your entire argument the way Kentucky Ballistic's fucking neck blew up. All right. Yo, Kentucky plug. All right. Put a thumb in it. Uh, right up your ass. Going. Um, uh, no, uh, one and a half, just because, like I said, the sets were, were pretty fucking cool. Um, the, uh, <laughs> uh, the lighting was was decent. The special effects were decent. Um, well, they were old school uh, CGI oh, yeah. effects. Yeah, I, mean, it, but I thought Yoshi. Stuff. I thought Yoshi was cool looking though. Exactly. I, like Yoshi. I, 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 cool. I had no real problem with the special effects yeah. at all for when the time frame it was, what they were trying, what they were trying to accomplish. Um, it 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 fit. Um, that's what I said. At one and a half. Um, now I had more fun us watching goddamn the room i definitely had more fun because of how shitty it was all right i'm like all right if it's gonna be bad let's be fucking very goddamn bad yeah all right uh split second level fucking bad so i can (laughs) show fuck you lenny choke on a dick for making me watch that horse shit Um, it will never fucking end hey that got a bonus pint from him all right just because of what it led to eventually it led to um but no uh like i said it's it's just a shitty fucking film well it's you said a bit, this movie film. pissed you off when you saw it in the theater yeah, i i yeah. like yeah, because he was expecting mario brothers yeah. I, I think everybody was and that's why it, it, so bad. it was literally called yeah, mario you brothers yeah. fuck you that's what it should have been yeah no i, I agree right. it's i don't know it's just 
They changed the tone. Chase, go ahead. There's not much movie plot you can get from Mario Bros. Yes, there is. There's a fucking a princess shit that got you can get from it. All right, and they yeah. have to fucking goddamn battle their way through and try to find them. They have fucking goddamn all the action in the world built into that premise. I was just thinking about the platform part. But yeah, you got you got a fucking point. All right, all right. <laughs> story. And then you're fighting a giant fucking dinosaur looking motherfucker at the end. T Rex. He's a turtle. Uh, you know what's funny? Uh, you know what's funny? Uh, you know, the funny? Fucking- Bowser does not look like a, a T Rex in any yeah, way. Well, the funny thing is, is that uh, Jurassic Park was released a couple weeks after this, and you saw the special effects. Oh! Oh, oh, fuck that even more then. Really? Yeah. Fuck this movie in the yeah. ass even more. Yeah, Jurassic <laughs> Park they came out. This came Jurassic out in Park? the May. What Jurassic was the, Park what came was out Jurassic in June. Jurassic Park's budget, though? I'm I don't get serious. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes, Jurassic Park came out literally a couple weeks after. The entire movie was filled with goddamn CGI. Yeah. So their budget going to be huge. Oh, my God. All right. Only a little bit could have been filled. Uh, all right. But that bullshit goddamn Koopa Bowser fucking diva motherfucker uh. at the end. <laughs> fuck that. Yeah. I fucking love that. I changed though, my shit you- now. Did you so change mad. your review now? I am so mad. Um, yeah, fuck this no, director. No. Fuck this director and his wife. Yep. No, All right. It's a fuck couple. them both. No, I hope I, they both stub their goddamn pinky toes on every piece of furniture in their house. Fuck them. Oh, that is fucking evil. Exactly. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, you know what the fucking worst part about doing that is that when you fucking hit your goddamn toe, <laughs> not even fucking realizing it, mm-hmm. it feels like you. Rip the fucking toe right off. Yeah, yeah. especially your fucking pinky toe. Yes, I've done that it's shit always a pinky. so many fucking it's like, times. nothing else. There's always a goddamn pinky toe. Yeah, it fucking what's hurts. Worse, what's worse than that? Catching, Stepping on Lego? Catching your hip on a fucking countertop. Yeah, that hurts. Oh, no, God. No, I mean, I'd, rather hit my, I'd rather hit my hip than a fucking pinky yeah. toe. Yeah. Or getting pounced on the balls by yes, fucking fat, Ragnar's fuck dogs. You. I have cushioning. I don't. <laughs> I, hey, hey that, that's not my fault. <laughs> or your son. Your son headbutting me there. Everybody <laughs> hits you in the balls. <laughs> Apparently. Everybody hits you in the balls, dude. I always get hit in the balls. Yeah. You and should you realize by now, it. anytime you come to my house, Cover your fucking sack. I, I You've noticed never, that. I always have my hand covered when I'm walking no, in your house. I've never had a problem at Ragnar's house. No, actually, you haven't. All Nobody right. else has but you. It's, yeah. I, that's just me. I get hit the balls. <laughs> You're <laughs> weirdly <laughs> overinflated <laughs> fucking testicles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chase, give your, uh, give, oh, give your wow. review. Um, I'm going to give it a one and a half critically because, honestly, you guys are yeah. right. Shut up. The... The sets was were pretty cool. Yeah. For the 90s, I thought it was pretty fucking dope. Oh, yeah. You know, I enjoyed it. The soundtrack was nice. It was enjoyable. One you just part, like that dinosaur one song. One part of the soundtrack was nice. Yes, you're right. One part. Yeah. That goddamn cool ass song. Everybody no, wants to be a dinosaur. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I literally Lizzie. fucking goddamn fucking put this on my goddamn pay, uh, my, my 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 playlist after I watched the movie. <laughs> I, 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 I see you on the fucking <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm sitting there driving a fucking forklift. I was just thinking about that. The fork <laughs> <laughs> the fucking my head along. I'm gonna see if yeah. I can find this on uh, on Spotify or something like that and play it over the loudspeaker for this for the yes. uh, technicians. Everybody's gonna enjoy it. Exactly. Oh yeah. You can't help but fucking goddamn bop your shoulder to it. <laughs> Everyone what's, likes dancing. So what's your enjoyment? Enjoyment, I went into this movie really not expecting much in the way of a good plot. You said you were going to give it a five. No. What? <laughs> yeah, no, it's You're a, a fucking liar. It's a no, I was five. joking. Hold on. Didn't we already talk about lying on we the did. show? We did. I said I was joking. <laughs> oh, boy. I will, however, give it a three and a half enjoyably. Because if wow. you don't go, you're so fucking weird, shit. man. No, what is wrong with if you? If you don't go into this movie expecting a like a true to life Mario Brothers, because the thing is, I saw the trailer. Yeah, I realize I'm not going to get a fucking Super Mario Brothers movie. It's 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 loosely based with characters of, of the same name, and they're using you know catchy little props that are you know reminders of the video game. That's all it is. Yeah, if you go into it like that. It's just enjoyable. It's a fun movie. Okay. Okay. It's, no, fuck that. Whatever, dude. That's, that's, it's fucking bullshit. Maybe I was just too I don't high. Believe you. you know what? I don't believe you. You, you don't. <laughs> I don't believe you. All right, Ron. I don't believe you. What the you. fuck? 
<laughs> Why is my name being put in there? Because that's the shit you pulled on. I did not pull that shit. Yes, I, still, I, that, that's, I still no. stand by my fucking five. You said, <laughs> I still stand by my fucking five. Fuck you. No, you. fuck you. I still stand by my five. I'm not doing this you. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Stu's just fucking <laughs> Why did you bring my name into your mouth? Because you're the one who fucking started the shit Fuck you in your Because you mouth. came in at last uh, What? I did Whoa, I came whoa. in at mouth last What the fuck? Somebody help me <laughs> Your mouth is full the of shit right. right. like, Fuck you Alright, alright I'm gonna go ahead and end the show with, You got yours done? Yeah Alright, so Oh, critical. I am going to give this uh, a two. And really, it's the wow. same thing as Ragnar and um, Stu. That, well, no, maybe Chase and Stu. These sets were yeah, really good for the 90s. But you said you gave it a one and a half, didn't you? <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I, would, I would say that this <laughs> is nonstop. <laughs> The direction was yeah, not like that really bad for what it had for what they from the actors because it seems like the what the fuck what? I don't know you're what? fucking mumbling about something I'm drinking my fucking Red Bull and mumbling no I'm not and bitching we're, we're making fun of you He's for being a little bitch bitching over all right here. so I give it a, a critically a two because I'm um, not critically um yeah critically a two because the sets everything that it looked it looked really good. The way that the direction went, it wasn't that bad. I've seen worse movies in this, but enjoyment, I would give it a one and a half. One, one and a half. No, I give it a one and a half. One. I mean, it it, it it's nostalgic to me. One. I grew up watching this movie. So what you mean one. to say is one, one, one and a half. I don't one. believe you. One and a half. I, I don't believe one. you. I yeah. think it's a one. We don't believe you. It's one and a half. You're wrong. One. One. Collectively, you're we don't. Oh my god! You're wrong. What is this it's fucking predator again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's perfect. We, we cannot trust your goddamn fucking opinion. <laughs> it's one and a half. So one. I, I definitely pick a one and a half for this because you're right it, on one. nostalgic view. Yep, I, one. Right now, you hearing one? Yep, that's what I'm hearing. So it's Y'all one. are assholes. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I can't I'm, keep it going that I'm long. Derail- I'm This is pissing me off. Ah, oh, you guys are killing me. All right, one and a half. I give this movie. Do you want to play Bat Wings? I knew you were going to say fucking that shit. <laughs> I give this movie a one and a half. I enjoy playing Bat Wings more than I enjoy this movie. <laughs> As a Tanuki. I give up. The Crit- Critical? <laughs> critical? I already gave my critical. My critical is done. I, I don't even remember. No, you did enjoyment. No, the- I did a critical earlier. No, one and a half. I gave a enjoyment. two for critical and one and a half for enjoyment. Why? Why? Oh, how how fucking you- railed. Because the set, because the direction is set. Sometimes you can give a better critical and get a worse enjoyment. Ron, oh, yeah. you for picking this movie. No, huh? but fuck why you for picking this movie? I picked this movie because I thought it would be a fun movie to do. It is a fun movie. Fuck it y'all. Is. No, it is. But and you, you know what? You even said yourself. You're just trying to start shit. You fucker. He's giggling like a schoolgirl over here. <laughs> He's happy am. right now. <laughs> I am. This is a good joy. Yeah, I know. He's always bringing. <laughs> Anytime fuck. I can get Ron fucking goddamn vein pulsating in his fucking forehead, <laughs> it's <a> joy. <laughs> Yeah, so, so why this movie, though? Like, and that's Why the, did I pick this movie? Yeah, well, uh, we never actually fucking talked about why you picked this movie. I picked it just for just an organic... Honestly, you did not fucking enjoy this movie. You, this isn't like a, a childhood class. Oh, I, I, I would... No, this was... That's why I just said. I gave it a one and a half for enjoyment. What was that? How are you going to say that? Enjoyment me enjoy- because, because I'm not going down to a one. I'm bringing an extra half because I still have a nostalgic view to this movie. I used to watch this a lot when I was a kid. But watching it from and an didn't adult. enjoy it. Not as much, no. Yes. So why would you pick a movie you don't enjoy? To like, piss man, you off. I don't enjoy having the tip of my penis cut, but I'm going to go ahead and elect that so we can talk about it. All right. No, you don't fucking I, do that. It doesn't I, make no, sense. Why, why did I pick the tip of your penis off? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, my God. What the uh, fuck? At least Lenny, I was literally just curious why you picked second. why I picked no I picked this Lenny movie because I second. wanted to hear what you guys thought of it. Okay. I wanted to hear your no, opinions no, about no. it. Literally, I was just curious. No, that's that's, that's the reason that, why. That's I, I, you, trust me, I'll, I'll pick another shit movie sometime. You want to pick Flick, Pink Flamingos? Because it is a universally accepted as a fucked up movie, and this is universally accepted. This is actually a cult classic. It's considered a cult classic now by who? <sighs> Wait, what? Really? Really? Yes. What cult? Do I have to eliminate from the face of this fucking? <laughs> it's considered a cult classic. It, it, it seriously is. But back then, when it came out, it was shit. But it's considered a cult. It's still shit. 
All right, well, I, I guess all the documentaries I watch are wrong. Go they are. This movie. They are. This is just a bad movie. It, it is a bad movie. That's funny. I'm not saying it's a great yeah, movie. I'm not yeah. saying it's a good movie. It is a bad movie, but do you think it's one of those bad movies that's... No. So you wouldn't watch this again? Honestly, I had... The only reason I enjoyed re-watching this was because I completely forgot about the dinosaur song. That's it. That's it. That's the only fucking reason I enjoyed the fucking re-watching song, it. to be honest. The dinosaur song. Wow. That's it. Whoa. Fuck you, Ron. Fuck you, Stu. All right. At least Lenny enjoyed Split Second. You purposely just made us Wait, all did suffer he really? for no reason. Did Lenny I like, still, like I said, yes, I, I, yes, it was like, one of his actually? favorites. Yes, it was one of his favorites. That's why I got so mad. Right there. Because it was one of his favorites. But th- this is... <laughs> exactly. Uh. Oh, right. you Ron, know what? You know he didn't what? even I, I like think... this movie. He's like, yeah, we're all gonna suffer together. <laughs> all right, fuck, <laughs> fuck yeah! So right. you're Misery saying, so you're saying, company. on our show, we cannot talk about movies that we hate. Fuck that! That's what unless, we're here for. Unless it's a a fan request. No, fuck that. Why are we picking movies we don't enjoy? Why what not? the fuck? The point? Why is? not? So more, we can tear it it's apart. More fun to tear a movie apart. To tear it apart. It's. Easy, it's better That's to the fucking whole tear point. apart a movie you okay. hate. So the movies that we do that we enjoy, like an upcoming episode of Goodfellas. <laughs> Should we not do that? Because we both like that. No, Should we both? not do that? No, no. Because it's more fun to tear apart movies we don't fucking like. No, but we you, you can do both. Movies. You can do some movies that you love, and then you can do some movies that are just horrible, and that we just all get our personal review be. to see what it is. No, what's the point of bringing up a movie that everybody fucking doesn't, doesn't yes, fucking like? Yes, Sammy, what is Believe it or not, like people do like this movie. People were excited about this movie. You're not when the I, host, Chase. You don't get to recognize Sammy, the Sammy wants to talk. Sammy wants roles. to talk on the mic. If you guys do movies that you hate, you can discourage viewers from seeing shitty movies. Yeah. We're here to But give. that's the thing when I, I think the fact that we brought up this movie at all has the chance of actually making people watch this movie. And I do not want anybody to have to sit down and watch this fucking movie. It's but a see, fun but this is the thing. Movie. When, when, when I when I fuck you <laughs> in your prepubescent times. When I did the promo for this movie, people commented saying, Oh, I love that movie. People do like this movie. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You don't like this movie. This movie it's is not bad. a good it is movie. Bad. You don't like this movie, but it's fun. I grew up. I you liked it when I was a half. I liked it when I was a kid. On enjoyment. I liked it when I was a kid. I'm you gonna... gave it a one and a half on enjoyment. Oh my so god! So you do not like this movie. Ugh. If I didn't like this movie, I'd give it a, a like a zero. You're killing. I am being attacked by the peanut gallery here. Yes, I am being physically assaulted. As well, they uh. should. <laughs> all right, so we're going to go ahead and end our show on our crazy Super Mario Brothers episode that went all over the place. This was one of our most probably craziest episodes we've done in a while. So it is the end of our show, and that is it. So see you guys later. Bye. Fuck you, Ron. I love you. Hey, guys, this is Ron. Thank you for listening to our podcast, Barrel Age Flicks. 2022 has been an amazing year with our great shows, including BAF, The Small Batch, Sammy Select, and The Tasting Room. If you like our show, please leave a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Guys, this helps out enormously. Give us a follow on Instagram at Barrel Age Flicks Podcast. If you would like to send us a special film request, please contact us via Instagram, and we will give you a personal shout-out on the show. We are also on Facebook and Twitter. Our podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Anchor, Audible, Pocket Cast, Spotify, CastBox, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. Special thanks to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio on YouTube for his awesome music. This guy fucking rocks. Check him out. Want to give a shout out to Sammy, one of our guest hosts on the show who does our amazing album artwork. Thank you, Sammy. Our podcast only exists because of listeners like you. To find other great shows, head over to the den.show. Hope you join us for our next episode. Later, guys.